shit back down. I forgot what number I wrote for that to not be loud as fuck. God damn it. You fuckers. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm like, I know I got the number around here somewhere, shorty. There we go. Hello, hello, welcome. I'm I'm in for uh, just a more relaxed, laid back experience. I just got up from a nap, <laughs> and I don't have a lot of energy. Uh, I walked outside for two hours, and I had to refill my water three times. Like I got back from my walk, and I'm like, God damn, I need to lay down. <laughs> So that's basically it. Yeah, another two hour streak. Holy moly! Yeah, what was the temperature? I think it was like 96 with the humidity. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, hello, operator. Yeah, it was like 96, 95. What's, what did everyone else do today? What did, what did you eat? What did you. Uh, hopefully, you did something other than jack off. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys did something other than that. <laughs> oh yeah, here's here's what we're celebrating for Father's Day. God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I have been- I have been thinking a lot. I've been thinking about, uh, a lot of various things. And, uh... I'm feeling like making a comic. And, and let me go back over here. The premise it's it's heavily based upon based? It's heavily based upon New Vegas. I, I understand that. I, we'll we'll use the term inspired. The only character that's gonna look the exact same is Arcade. And he's just a dude with glasses. So, I mean that's that's like a character trait, right? Glasses. And the idea is that our protagonist uh, lives in a magical world. Let me get the magic noise. Uh... No, not money. <laughs> wow, that is so epic. It is a magical world. Yeah, the, the Clark Kent. The Clark Kent classic. Um, uh, and he is a trans man. <gasps> we love our queer rep, bitch. 
And he starts off just black and white because that's how he perceives the world. It's just good and evil. However, um, as he meets each each of the other like main story characters, maybe not necessarily protagonists or good people. That's the whole point. Um, uh, and I didn't want to say main characters because that implies they're on like friendly terms. Uh, at, at first, he meets the color yellow. I'll, and I'll, I'll show you the names of the characters as we get to them. Because there's a lot of symbolism. That's the word of the day. Uh, symbolism. He goes from black and white to gaining the color yellow. And then he meets another character. He gets the color red. And then he meets the, the version uh, of... He meets the arcade 2 and gets the color blue. Uh, and I haven't thought about what happens after that. But definitely a happy ending. <laughs> I don't want a happy ending. S Symbolism. <laughs> yeah, like New York City. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I was going to put on my glasses for my character treat. You know, when I was younger, um, I was huge into John Lennon. And because I, I figured, you know, I have like, I had long brown hair. And I love the Beatles. I could just like whoosh, put on the, the circle glasses. And I was kind of obsessed with that. Is symbolism? Uh, not yet. But I am planning. If, I, if this ever gets turned into like an animation project, I'd love to associate each character with like a, a specific instrument. Uh, oh god, where do I even start? Again, there's gonna be a lot of parallels to FNB, just because that's been the only thing on my mind lately. <laughs> you know, yeah, we should see more characters with glasses. You're right. So we have our main character. Oh god. This is just gonna be very sketchy. And he starts off just like yours truly. Uh, trans mask, but pre-op. And he's a gruff old man. He's like, er, I'm very tough. But no one takes him seriously, because, I mean, he looks like a woman. Fuck. I, you know, maybe I should be working with at least, like, one reference if I'm gonna be drawing a lot of bodies here. Old? How old? I'm thinking like 30s or 40s. Like older. Oh my god! Look at him. He's walking! Oh. God. He just went by, by, right by my window. Holy shit. I love this picture of John Lennon. I think it's so fucking funny. That shit is so funny to me. It shouldn't be. Oh. Middle aged man! Okay, I look up f female torso reference, and there's a lot of picture of boobies. And I get it, boobies are very important to women, they're not important to me. Get the boobies out of my sight! No! <laughs> I do not want to see any more breasts. I'm done with it. I'm done with the boobies. Yeah, I want to make him, like, semi-curvaceous. Like, he's got hips, shorty, you know what I'm saying? Or at least he does at the beginning of the story. Alright, let's move you up. Make you tiny. Yeah, blue-footed or otherwise. The one time I don't even want to see bird boobies. No way, Jose. No, no way, Jose. No, no, no. I also gotta come up with, like, the shapes. Like, one of the characters, the, the color who represents the color red, I'll tell you his name in a second when we get to him. But, uh... 
he's supposed to be like a square or a cube. Very, it, you know, that's a lot. That's I feel like that's a very common character trait, like having a red character, but he's like blocky or square. I think it's just because of the assertive, like shape. And of course, you know, he's he's uh, binding naturally. You know, I'm I'm gonna say it. I'm kind of lucky, and I feel grateful to be this lucky that I don't have to necessarily bind. Like the shirt, that's that's that hides uh, anything I wanna would have to worry about enough, which is good. I'm very grateful for that. Man, legs are always so hard. This is a good picture of legs, though. Google coming in, uh... in clutch there. Let's give him the jeans. Oh yeah, I love jeans. I hate wearing jeans, but I love the aesthetic so much. I also love wearing jorts. I think jorts are pretty fucking epic as well. What's Chad's opinion on jeans or jorts? Like, jorts... I feel like if I had, like, more mass in my thighs, I would fucking hate him. Tainted? Uh... Do you want to see my... Look, do you want to see my search history? Here you go. Uh, the, the top option here, it says Fogu do Sol because I was listening to a really romantic sounding song and I wanted to know the lyrics to it. Then we have Katamari, Shubi Doo, because I was trying to find, I was, <laughs> I was trying to find uh, like a very specific song. Wanted to look up some information on various tribes from the Midwest. Then I looked up more lyrics. Then I looked up another song, looked up a PNG of a bow tie and another Brazilian song. That's my search history. Scandalous, I know. I had to make sure I didn't like... <laughs> Not that there would be anything weird in my search history, but I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> a terrible... What about aesthetically? Control H? Uh... No. <laughs> Wait, that's how you get to history? Oh wow, look at this. Oh, look how- oh! Oh, right, I gotta make sure. Oh! Oh, look how scandalous this is! <laughs> Again, I may or may not have been doing a lot of reading. Oh no, Mr. Streamer! Oh, you've been listening to Thai music? What? Oh my god! Holy! I'm gonna get cancelled for listening to Thai the Tasmanian Tiger. I don't want to make him that tall. Holy. These are supposed to be jeans. You know, I really should draw more women. I fucking hate women. I'm not gonna take that back, but I really should draw more of them. It's a good skill to have. Oh my god, Mr. Streamer just said that he fucking hated women. Oh my god. Actually fucking cancelled. Holy shit! Wow, those are the shittiest- they look like dress pants. It is a post-apocalyptic magical world though. The reason why I say magic is because there's furries. <gasps> I'm actually gonna draw a furry today. Um, and there's shapeshifters. Women who aren't froggies, they don't count. They're- they're- they're cool. Is that specious? Or- or sexist? Or both? The only women I like are frogs. <laughs> Third gender unlocked. You see? 
you see liberals. There's only two genders. Frogs and men. Non-binary people and women are, are just made up by the government. I'm sorry if that's how you came to learn, but... Fuck. You know, I just need a... Um, a woman wearing jeans. Oh, here we- oh, this is- oh! Oh! Whoa! That's what I needed. Oh, they are way more form- that's why it looks so dressy. Jeans are form-fitting. Oh. I guess, unless you're a man, they tend to- They- they- they tend to be more form-fitting. Yeah, where's my Father's Day cards? Uh, hello? I brought you into this world and this is how y'all treat me? Okay, no, I get it. No, but, uh, happy Father's Day. I fucking hate my dad, so I don't celebrate. <laughs> but... <laughs> but if you want to say happy Father's Day to me, I will gladly take it. Kestrel, hello, how are you doing? I'm coming up with a very gay story with a trans... Oh, oh, speaking of trans, uh, Kestrel? You know that meme where Fallout New Vegas turns a lot of men, uh, into trans women? Like, it, it, it helps them, like, awaken in a certain way? Because I, uh, I've been coming to a lot of realizations lately. It seems like that game it will just turn anyone. Uh. It, uh. It, it has that energy to it. Hey, that looks normal. Hey, what's up, Goblin? I'm drawing some characters for a story that I want to make. I've been feeling very inspired recently. It, yes. It, it, it unlocked a lot of, uh. Uh, yeah, we'll call it that. Emotions. But this is the main character. Uh, it's kind of like Hoseki no Kuni, but instead of like getting pieces from like other creatures or people, it's like colors. Those are like the pieces. And there's also no Buddhism because that's gay. No. Uh, it's- it's just supposed to be, uh, like, representative of the trans experience. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling very, uh, very, uh, make gay art lately. Which is good. I, I wanna- I've been- you know, for the longest time, uh, maybe because I was always swamped with commissions, but- I never wanted to make art for art's sake, like emotional sake, but lately I, I've, I've been wanting to do that. Like the last time I felt this way was with Ruined on Jupiter and I just never got around to doing that. I still want to write. Well, Ruined on Jupiter is all written. I just need to do the art, but doing art is really long. Oops. I also tried doing it whenever, uh, I was like very, really super butt fuckingly burnt out from, uh, from college. So I don't think that really helped that situation. But now, now that I'm, I'm, I got better. Yeah, I wanted to have like a really distinctive face. This is just concept art, you know? It's where it's... And I want him to have a nice old hooked nose. Holy. Hooked noses? I might be bi biased, but uh, if you have a hooked nose, you're very beautiful.
very strong jawline and everything. This is also a warm-up drawing. I haven't drawn anything um, since I got done with that latest commission. I've just been like chilling out, been meditating, I've been running. Like my walks outside have been a lot longer than they have been recently. Yeah, and I gotta have like that, like, butch mullet thing sort of going on. We'll work, we'll work on a more um, distinctive silhouette. You don't know most parts? I've been coming, I've been coming! I've been, uh, like I uh, stated earlier, I've been coming to a lot of realizations about what I want. I've always been on the, 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 the fence of uh, wanting to start TRT. <sighs> oh, I want it so bad! Ah! Yeah, I want it to be kind of a manlet, to be honest. Oh yeah, upturned noses are also pretty handsome. I- I'm kind of a nose guy. <laughs> Big noses, small noses, petite noise, no noises. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, he's wearing boxers under there. Gotta get. Can't forget the belly button. Five. <gasps> <laughs> I have a pretty big nose. Man, I wish it were more hooked though. But I like the. The, um. Not like the bump. Fuck. <laughs> like the... I don't know how to explain it. I like my nose. I used to be self-conscious about it when I was a kid. But... I, I've gotten more and more used to it. Oh, whoa! Look at that fucking trap! Oh! Oh, I love that. Um, and let's give him, like, a pauldron, you know? It is the, the post-apocalypse. I'm thinking the apocalypse could have been, like, a magical disaster. Comparable to a, a nuclear... Uh, what do you mean to comprehend nose shapes? Neat, 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 neat. I also don't have a name picked out for the protagonist yet. I have names for all of the other characters, but not this one fucking guy. I was thinking he could have two names, pre and post T. Re Mario? No, fuck that name. It's just a nose. Think about many of the things that you perceive a lot of detail for there to be. Oh, a Shrek. Oh, that's a perfect name. No, it needs to be symbolic. You know, not Mimi. Like, okay. Spoiler alert. All of the other characters, their names are, like, variations of happy or derivatives of happy. So we have Light from Lightidia. We have Joy. We have Felix. Teddy. Oh. 
and I want the protagonist's name to be like fucking depressed, uh, anger, wrath, maybe U Ulysses. Ulysses is a pretty badass name. I had a perfect name earlier, but I fucking forgot it, naturally. Climbed onto a roof and it can't get down. So what you gotta do, you gotta get your hunting rifle. <laughs> get up on that roof now and start shooting. It'll be good eating. Yeehaw! Yeah, cats. Oh wow, cats. Yeah, known for their uh, excellent intelligence. And this is Ulysses post T. I'm thinking his name, like before, could be like Styx. And then after it's Ulysses. A few months old. Oh. Oh, poor kitty. See, cat children, that's when I feel bad. No, I might have given more of a chin. Re and he goes, like, he starts Steve very early on. Like, gets top surgery and everything. He just doesn't get bottom surgery. Until he meets the blue man. <gasps> I know, I know, like, that Ulysses is also a character from FNV. And I did read a little bit about him, but I've always thought Ulysses was a pretty badass name. I'm still sitting on FNV. I want to wait a little bit before getting back into it again. I've been traumatized. <laughs> I've been traumatized by that fucking game. Yeah, he's got mutton chops. This is basically our character from Method Man. Gotta have the, the whole mutton stash thing going on. I wish I had a very deep voice. And narrow, yeah, narrow the eyes a little bit. Posture. My pot, you know, I've been being very con conscientious of my posture recently. No reason for me to. Also, don't ask how his hip structure magically changes. Uh, it's magic. Magic testosterone. Yeah, let's make this like... E I want him to be a broad man. Holy. Oh! Oh, that's what I want. Yeah, the collarbone should be, like, way, way lower. Do, 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 do. 
I've also been thinking a lot about uh, replaying Ty. What a cute game. And that's, I feel like that's really weird for me, wanting to replay games. It, yeah, it is not a common game. I will say that. See, Ty? That's pick of the, the letter. Just another generic early 2000s platformer game. He's gotta have the slutty jean shorts. He's gotta! I don't think I could live with myself if he didn't. Okay, let's move this up a little bit. And we'll color these after I do the liner. Now. You have to get up tomorrow? Uh, yeah, we all do. It's called the daylight cycle. The day-night cycle. In order to continuously respawn health, yeah, that needs to happen. Or regenerate health, rather. No, I mean like slutty. Oh wait, I need to, like, big buff. Gay cowboy, his cock thugging, his cock thugging hard. No, uh, man wearing jorts. Oh. Oh yeah, I go to sleep. Why are you still up? Whoa! I found the I instant, instantly I found the picture I was looking for. And he's got to have like the the cowboy boots. Yeah, I gotta look up a reference for that too. Yeah, that's, uh, very short. And of course they're ripped, you know, he made them himself. I'm not gonna draw nipples, because Twitch is like, wee, but just pretend he has nipples. You know, this is Magic World, I, I don't think people even need nipples, if I'm honest. He may be shirtless, but as long as he doesn't have nipples, it's fine by uh, Twitch. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful night, Kestrel, and thanks for uh, showing up. It's always a pleasure! Gotta have, like, the gay cowboy belt. I feel a little too good, little Oh. Oh god, I don't know what the hell came over me. The goop spirits. They're taking over my soul. When's the last time you felt goopy? This honestly, after my walk, I felt a, I felt a little bit like Jello. Point them out just a little bit. 
I want him to be buff as hell. Like, not... Um... Oh, what's that episode of Spongebob? What, what are those called? Like, the arms? It was a season one episode. I know I'm a jerk and everyone hates me. Like, the inflatable arms. I don't want him to look like that. Make it a body. It! How dare you. Call these poor characters in it. Although having an it character, you know, there's already not a lot of non-binary characters in media. And even less it's that, like, are people and not, like, robots. As He-Man? No. Look, does it- he already looks like He-Man. He's got the gay, like, 70s haircut. He's muscular as hell. He's got, like, 1940s superhero legs. And tiny little fucking ankles. The only thing he needs is some garish clothing, which he's already got. Look at that fucking belt buckle. That is not a straight man. Oh, I just- they're mirrored. I forgot about that. SYMBOLISM! SYMBOLISM! Yeah! I mean, I planned that the entire time. Of course. Oh, it's spooky music. <gasps> Murr, you all you also know Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? You're fucking crazy! Oh wait, we, we discussed that. How, how are you doing tonight? I've, I've been- Fallout New Vegas has really inspired me and I want to like make a story. So I'm, I'm- I've been thinking about the characters for like a couple of days now and I feel comfortable to finally kind of like explore that idea on stream, like publicly. A cock ring? <gasps> On his neck? Uh, uh, I don't think... I don't think that translated very well. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Do you know what a cock ring is? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I'm reading that right? <laughs> Do you mean a choker? Do you mean like a bandana? I don't think you mean cock ring. <laughs> Do you mean like in a necklace? <laughs> Hopefully. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, let me just whoosh, strangulate my necaronis here. No, yeah, no, he means what he means. Totally. Oh, my, my playlist ended. Oh, on a necklace. Okay, I was like... <laughs> I had no clue that was a thing. Yeah, like, in in the... In the circumstances of the story, uh, gayness is a huge no-no. And I want... Oh god, he's even doing, like, the gay hand thing. Uh-oh. So I want him to be kind of like very overt about it. But I don't wanna like I don't wanna go so hard into it that it's just like his only character trait. Same thing with the blue man, who we will explore in a in a little bit. Yeah, okay, we need to make this less homosexual here. Yeah, just like a nice fist will do. That still looks gay as hell, but I think it's the fucking booty shorts! 
It totally is. Something about his posture is like, he's like, tilting. Whatever. This is just a sketch, it's just concept art. No more gay! I said it. Being gay, you're banned. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Modinu! I remember that! I mean, I, I wasn't there, but I remember, like, reading that on Tumblr way back. <gasps> Caveman Johnson! Okay, I'm making a story, and one of the characters... It's very... Ex okay, actually, it's very, very... Uh, based on my Fallout New Vegas playthrough, and the character, he starts off as black and white and gets more colors as he meets other characters, and the blue man is Arcade. And there's a lot of symbolism. That's the, the spark notes. And it's very homosexual. Like, Ram Ranch? It rocks. Cowboys love big heart throbbing cocks. On their knees, wanting to suck cowboy cock. Like it's that gay. Oh, I want the one with the spurs, though. Can I have... I want the spurs! Cowboy boots with the spurs. With the spurs! Got the whole club looking at her. Where is it? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I need you guys... No, I don't want to go to Etsy. I just want you... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I was just trying to look for cowboy boot reference. Whoa! Okay, so the... The reason why he's blue... Is... Okay, so our character here... Uh... I'm thinking he starts off as like Sticks, and then he change as he transitions, he changes his name to like Ulysses or uh, maybe even Odysseus, like just a cool like badass, totally trans mask name. And he starts off completely black and white. He gets shot. I don't want him to be a courier. Like, I don't want the story to be, like, shot for shot in Vegas. I'm still coming up with it. But he, for some, he gets in the bad graces of some guy named Teddy. Teddy is wearing a black and white suit. Uh, but instead of just being, like, black or white, it's black and white. So he's conflicted about the, the symbolism. Oh, symbolism of that. Um, so he's rescued by a small town, and one of the people there is named Lightidia, or Light for short, and uh, he, uh, let, let's say Styx for now. Styx gets attached to Light, and Light is yellow. Uh, so as a result, he gains, he like, Oh, he gains the color yellow from light. The, the symbolism! The symbolism! <laughs> yeah, even sunny? Hmm. I'm glad you caught on to that. Uh, like, I was gonna name her Sunshine, but then I'm like, no, no, that's too on the nose. And they get into a very, very brief relationship until Styx realizes, hey, uh... I don't really like women. <laughs> like, not, he's not a misogynist. He, he's just, like... He's not... He doesn't swing that way. And then he realizes... Shit. I don't really like having a woman's body. Uh, so then, the person who put the brains back in his head gives him top surgery. Yay! And he starts testosterone. But the thing about living in a post-apocalyptic nightmare of a world it's hard enough to get basic healing supplies and basic like bandaging water testosterone that's really complicated so that's a whole struggle on its own 
he decides, okay, maybe it's the best. And like two months pass. Like it's a way longer time period than uh, the intended events of N FNB. So he's like, I'm gonna move on. Uh, go on to the other town and see what's happening there. And he goes to the equivalent of the NCR outpost, like way, like way, way off. And, um, no, I know Stone, that's why I have it that way, instead of just like some other random uh, female character or non female character. And he meets a horned bull. The horns will come. Or sorry, a horned bear. He, the the symbolism of that will come shortly. And uh, he wants to. He realizes, oh, this furry man is gay. But because he's in like the in a military sort of thing, right? He can't. They they can't like be together. But they do have, they, they, unlike in FMB, they actually do have opportunities to, like, uh, explore the relationship. The red horned bear's name is Felix. I'm, I want to come up with a better name, but for right now it'll be Felix, just to keep up with the, like, theme of all of the, uh, other characters having happy names. Uh, right, he represents red. Uh, and when he finds out that uh, at this point oh, wait, that's not it. At this point, Ulysses at this point, Styx already changed his name to Ulysses. Uh, that Ulysses uh, does not have a penis. He becomes very disgusted with Ulysses. He calls him not a real man, uh, like a freak, like very transphobic, fucked up things. And uh, that's how he gains, like the, the color thing is more of like a symbolic character developmental sort of like phenomenon instead of just like, like physically sucking the color out of him or like physically like ripping the color off it's just like representative of the emotional slash political like viewpoint of the world and ulysses is like oh shit oh my fuck i'm like fucking red and uh he has his period which is like that's more red he's like got fucking blood red streaking down his face and legs and arms and at a certain point of trying to scrub it off like all of the red he realizes that uh, he comes to peace living with the fucked up things that Felix said about him and he becomes orange and the world around him uh, becomes orange as well okay so we have black and white yellow and red what's the last primary color blue <laughs> so after uh recovering from the whole felix situation ulysses goes all the way to the equivalent of new vegas and uh helps out the locals a little bit there and finds uh, a tribe of medical doctors known, known as the Saint Ix. Unlike the followers of the apocalypse, these guys are way more spiritual, like they're more hippie, they're less educational, but they're still medical. That's, that's important. That's going to be a plot device that will help save Ulysses' life on more than one occasion. Uh, and go figure, Ulysses, being in a very shady place, gets fucking ganked, he gets stabbed, uh, saved by a local gang, and sent to a saint, sent to the Saint X. And there, he meets a man named Joy. Oh god, the fucking music. <laughs> he meets a woman, Joy. <laughs> 
can we have can we have like some romantic music can we just like have something uh that's like nice and not like boss music -y? no 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 can i at least have something sexy Okay, this will work. He meets someone named Joy. Joint Saint Ick, also known as Joystick. I, I think you can see where this is going. Um, and Joystick is just straight up blue. Like, he, his emergence as blue will be the first time. Like, because of the, like, the limitedness of yellow on its own before red, there will be bits of red that I will have until he like he gains it as a color, but there will be no blue. It'll be all grays. So he needs he needs joy, and joy patches him up, and the the two get to talking. Ulysses he brings joy on adventures. They finish up all the business in the big city. And then Ulysses is like, okay, I got some business to do elsewhere. And Joy's like, yeah, sure, I'll come. Uh, but the entire time, like, Ulysses is still getting over the relationship thing from Felix. So he's like, okay, the last thing I need is for Joy to figure out that I don't have a penis because I don't want a repeat of uh, of the whole Felix situation. Which uh, I want to play off very comedically, but also, oh god, I just, you know, you want them to be in love. <laughs> they, do the, they, they do that business, then they realize, oh, there's a whole, like, political, magical situation going on. Let's run our tight gay asses back to um, to the big city. Then there's a romantic conversation. Like, Joy is the same way, uh, is, is the same way as Arcade, as in he, he doesn't want to talk about his past and will like, what you do do? He will reflect any sort of questions including like really basic stuff like what his favorite color is um like what foods he likes because he doesn't want any leverage because you know it's just going to be a slippery slope into like letting his past spill out uh so there's a point where ulysses has joy at his art studio back in the same uh town where light is, Lightidia, the yellow chick. Um, because as Ulysses was recovering from his top surgery, he had nothing to fucking do all day for two months. So he just made a ton of art, which is why he's so obsessed with colors. So Joy and light meet, uh, which is very cute. It's like, oh wow, they're getting along. And Light being the protector of the town, she's like, okay, uh, hey, Ulysses, do you want to come with me and, like, shoot up some wild animals? And Ulysses is like, hell yeah, sister! <laughs> and Joy is like, look, we've been traveling for 14 hours on foot. I'm very tired. Uh, and also, this art is beautiful. Can I just, like, look at it? And there's no blue. Like, Uly Ulysses only had yellow, black, red, and white pigments the entire time. But there's there's been no blue because that's a really rare pigment that he doesn't know how to make. But Joy does. And Joy is also blue! He's also blue! So he stays behind uh, to synthesize like boop, boop, beep, 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 this like blue pigment while Light and Ulysses are out hunting. But the real reason why Light wanted to bring out Ulysses to hunt is not to hunt, it's because she knows that uh, Ulysses still isn't super quite over the whole Felix situation. 
and knows that Joy doesn't know about the whole bottom area thing. So she's like, I'm not going to be the one to tell him. Uh, but he's going to find out sooner or later. And uh, you're going to get hurt just like you did with Felix. And Ulysses is super in denial about it. He's like, no, uh-uh, that, that won't happen. Because he's been gambling a lot to save up for bottom surgery. Which Joy doesn't like. Joy fucking hates that Ulysses is gambling. But he's just like, want to do what he wants. But he doesn't know why. Like, why Ulysses goes out of his way to, like, overburden himself with loot to sell and to gamble. It's because of that. Also to buy tea. So, back at the studio, uh, they come back. And uh, Light reiterates, hey, he's going to find out. And both of you are going to get really upset about this. Ulysses is just like, no. And he's a, he, like, Ulysses, even though he's the protagonist, he's very, he's very, like, usually up in the clouds. He's a very joke character. But this is, like, one of the only times he's serious. He's like, no. No, that, that's not going to happen. And he gets very emotional over it. He sucks it up. They go back into the studio. And Joy is like, Wow, well, I made the color blue in, so, you can, so you can make more colors. Isn't that so epic? And then they talk a little bit about color theory. Um, and uh, Ulysses is like, Oh my god, can't, uh, you know, uh, what's your favorite color? Now that we talked about all of the colors in the rainbow. And Joy is like, what you? He <laughs> like deflects. He's like, no, uh, I'm, I don't want to tell you what my favorite color is. I, I don't like thinking about myself. Uh, so Ulysses is like, oh, oh, uh, could I do a portrait of you? And Joy is like, what you? They, he, like, he's like, no, no, I don't want to look at myself either. So he does a portrait of light instead. The two go out, they go back to the big city, uh, do some more stuff, then there's like a very serious uh, fight with a local gang right outside of the big city. Uh, Joy gets fucked up, uh, and Ulysses tried to protect Light, pushes him out of the way, and takes an like a lead pipe, ba bam, straight to the lake, and like the femur showing. It's it's bad. Like this is really really bad. <laughs> this is, oh no. So they have to spend at least like a day. Like they have advanced medicine and a little bit of magic. Oh, I for speaking of magic, I forgot to mention that Joy is a shapeshifter. We'll get into why that's important in a second. I. I should have brought that up. <laughs> He's not like a shapeshifter, as in he can just like, shwing, transform into like a big monster and kill stuff. Because it, it's very tied to emotions, and he can't just like force stuff like that to happen. So uh, then there's like a really abstract Evangelion type of scene where they're sitting at a campfire in these ruins and Ulysses has this like fucked up leg <laughs> uh, just waiting for it to, to heal good enough so he can at least get back on his feet the next day. And the two are talking and Ulysses, uh, he basically spills his guts out emotionally in front of Joy. And Joy, he doesn't talk a lot. He's like very cold. It's blue. And, like, it, he, it's not that he's uninterested in conversation. He just doesn't want to, like, have any social leverage, just in case he slips. Uh, and U Ulysses is just talking about a lot of trauma. And, uh, out of nowhere, Joy is like, my favorite color is green. Like, Ulysses has a line. He has a line where 
uh, he's just like, wow, I'm just spilling my guts out in front of a fucking brick wall, which, uh, out of everything that Ulysses says, like, against the Saint Ix, uh, against Joy, like, that, it didn't make Joy angry, it just made him realize, oh, wow, that's how Ulysses feels about me? And, mind you, at this point, Ulysses, like, sucked off Joy, so it's not like they're not dating. <laughs> No, he doesn't slip yet. He doesn't slip and show off uh, his, <laughs> his uh, totally not enclave roots yet. We'll get to that. We're not there yet. We haven't even got back to Teddy yet. The, the Benny stand-in. So, yes, Ulysses is like, I'm spilling my guts out in front of a fucking brick wall. And uh, it's like, you know, I wish I were more like you, Joy. You don't fucking say anything. It, you know, I should just learn how to keep my mouth shut. And there's just like a pause where, like, Ulysses is cooking something, so he's poking at it and just staring at the fire. And then out of nowhere, Joy, that Joy finally says, "My favorite color is green." And it's like, it's like a. <laughs> sort of more sort of moment because Ulysses looks over to Joy. I like that I, I have like my Joy stand in. Uh, he can look at Joy and he is glowing green with like bits of pink and purple and like all of the other colors of the rainbow. And he's like uh, and Joy has, like, a bunch of, like, blue flowers and, like, grass around him. And it, this is, like, the, the moment where Joy finds- Like, he doesn't, like, say, Oh yeah, by the way, I was at the Enclave. <laughs> but he's- he, th This is the point where he, like, starts opening up a little bit more emotionally to Ulysses, which is really kind of cute. I think- I think that's cute. Um... So more shenanigans happen. Uh, with a lot more abstract symbolism, like joy becoming an, an ocean. Uh, cornflowers, um, which are blue. Uh, a brick wall. Uh, multiple arms. Just because, like, he, he's not used to, like, opening up like that. Now we finally get to Teddy, to motherfucking Teddy. All of this foreplay, finally bring it, bringing it back to Teddy, who shot uh, Ulysses twice in the fucking head. And mind you, the last time Teddy saw Ulysses, he was completely pre-op. He was still sticks. So they go into this huge casino. I can't. I can't just get rid of the, the casino part. I mean, like, I, I love casino. <laughs> so uh, they, they formulate a plan. Joy comes in, he's wearing the I sucked your dad off at Bass Pro Shop shirt with the big old cowboy hat and aviators. And he can't see shit because he needs his prescription glasses. What in the gut? <laughs> Damn in the god, what? <laughs> Uh, and Ulysses gives Joy, uh, $400, I'm, I want to come up with, like, natural currency, $400, plus another 40 to get a specific, like, suite in the hotel casino. And Joy, absolutely hating gambling, he is very reluctant. Like, at first, Ulysses was going to be the one to first go into the casino, then Joy as backup. But Joy was the one to suggest, hey, if Teddy is going to recognize you, I think I should go in there first. And Ulysses is like, wow, you're so smart and handsome and hot and you have a big time. <laughs> so Joy goes in and he has to get to know the locals a little bit so he, he can like, it doesn't seem like so weird that this one man is just like sitting up very straight and like sitting at a slot machine and not doing anything. Like, he wants to- he needs to become a little bit acquainted with everyone, so there- there won't- there won't be as much suspicion whenever, uh, Ulysses wants to talk with Teddy, so to speak. Uh, 
Okay. And Joy is just very uncomfortable the entire time. He loses all of his money. <laughs> like, except, like, he paid for the suite first. And he lost all of his fucking money in, like, 40 minutes. <laughs> so he was like, okay, I have, like, 50 bucks left. I'm just gonna hang out in the diner. Uh, and get some intel on who Teddy is. Because he doesn't know who the fuck Teddy is. He just knows that Teddy is wearing a black and white suit. That's all he knows. Uh, so he gets the intel. Ulysses knows who Teddy is. Uh, he goes back into the suite, sleeps for the night, and he's waiting for the sign the next morning when Ulysses is supposed to come in. And he's just kind of surveying the situation, and he spots Teddy at a blackjack table. So he's like, Okay. Uh, he still has a little bit of money, so he can only make, like, small bets. And he's just sitting with Teddy, and the two have, like, an intellectual back and forth for a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be an actual suit. I knew that you were gonna be pedantic about that. It's gonna be an actual suit, don't worry. I'll, I'll draw it in a little bit. Um... Uh, and it's gonna be cow based too. Based? Like stripes plus cow spots, because I think that would look really cool. Um, and the two are entering an intellectual sort of discourse. Uh, and from what everything uh, th that Joy has heard about Teddy, Teddy seems just kind of like, like how Benny is. But he's actually got a lot of wit. Um, and there's like symbolism in the way that the cards are being dealt. Like Teddy has a huge advantage. Like, con like he's just very lucky. Um, while Joy, naturally, he has like zero luck and is just getting belt dealt horrible fucking cards where he's just busting. I bust! He's just busting immediately. Uh, and then finally, whoa! Ulysses makes his like charismatic as hell entry. He's wearing like this uh, very colorful suit. And uh, he walks up to the table sits down where Joy and Teddy are are sitting. Maybe I should... I don't know. Uh, anyway, he sits down. Uh, and... Or he, he asks. He specifically goes out of his way to ask, Hey, uh, y'all mind if I join? And Teddy is like, Oh, but of course. Like, he's not that... He's not that kind of intellectual. He's just... Uh, like smart. Like, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, but he, he defers to Joy. Teddy's like, hey, sir, uh, would you mind this person joining our game? Like, like, not in a gay way. Teddy is not gay. He's not gay! No, he, he's just, like, deferring to Joy to be polite, and Joy is like, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Because he didn't uh, he didn't recognize Ulysses at first. So Ulysses sits down, and Teddy has no idea what's about to happen. And the two, or I guess the three now, they're just hanging out, playing blackjack. And all of a sudden, ever since Ulysses sat at the table, both Joy, or not not both Joy, only Teddy is getting belt, like, dealt these progressively worse and worse cards while Joy and Ulysses are getting dealt really good cards. And Ulysses just keeps on betting higher and higher as they keep talking. And Teddy, he's just like looking at Ulysses and he's like, who are you? Do I know you? Cause you look, you look a little familiar. And, and Ulysses is just playing it real cool. It's like, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. 
He says, no, not yes. And then uh, Teddy decides, okay, I'm just gonna bet everything. I'm gonna go all in right now with my $2,200. Um, and so does Ulysses. Joy, he's just kind of taking like, he has like five bucks to his name. So he's just taking it easy and watching the two like intellectually pushes up glasses, spar with each other. Uh, and when Teddy loses really badly, <laughs> he loses everything. He takes another good look at Ulysses and is like, <laughs> he realizes what just what's been happening and it's like oh no <laughs> but immediately he goes for the transphobia he's just like oh yeah you were that what in the goddamn <laughs> yes what in the goddamn indeed because it, it's been like several months plus Ulysses looks completely different and he's like yeah you were that broad I I ganked in the head <laughs> and Ulysses is like yeah so he convinces Teddy to go uh, like Teddy gives him the, the suite like the presidential suite uh, and they go to the suite alone Ulysses convinces Teddy to let him bring Joy along which Teddy very very reluctantly agrees to because he knows what's going to happen. Or he, he he has a really bad feeling about what's going to happen. So they're talking and Teddy is just like relaying a lot of like transphobia to Ulysses, which is not cool. <laughs> He's a true villain. Uh, sorry, there's something in my eye. I've been having like eyelash problems all day. And usually, Ulysses, if you, like, look, he's the kind of person where if you look at him wrong, he will gore you. But he just want he's just like, Teddy, like, I'm being patient. I just want to hear you out. You have something really important. Uh, let's just talk. But could you please stop calling me a woman? And mind you, Ulysses, he looks like this. Like, he doesn't... Aside from the top scars, which you wouldn't be seeing normally, oh, aside from the the top sur sur top scar surgeries, which, like, he's wearing a suit, like you can't see that. He doesn't look like a woman or sound like a woman. <laughs> yeah, he looks like Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. He's a furry. <laughs> uh, and you know, Teddy, he just keeps. Laying it on. At a certain point, uh, Ulysses finally convinces him, or he finally gets fed up, and just like, whoosh, like gives him a really good sucker punch. And Joy is looking on like horrified, because, mind you, Joy doesn't know that. Ulysses is trans. Like, like he knows that Ulysses has the scars, but um, back. Sorry, I forgot to mention this. Back when, uh, in in Good Springs, when uh, uh, Light and Ulysses were talking, it was like, uh, uh, like that's the first time that Joy saw Ulysses topless because he was changing and uh it's like hey what are those scars and Ulysses was like uh you know like gesturing behind his back to uh light and light was like oh uh it's it, he got mauled by a tiger <laughs> and and joy is like that cleanly like and symmetrical like he, like, he wasn't suspicious of anything. He was just, like, genuinely curious. Like, how, how does... And, uh... Uh, so... 
like there were there's going to be a lot of foreshadowing like we know that ulysses is trans but joy doesn't so joy is like really confused the whole time like why 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 is uh teddy calling my my boyfriend a woman i don't get it So Ulysses brings down the smack. He 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 brings the smack down. There we go. He brings the smack down on Teddy and like gores him with his bare hands. And Joy is like absolutely horrified. He's like he's not unused to Ulysses goring people, but it, this was just like a particularly ferocious onslaught. Uh uh, and he's like, hey, uh, is everything okay, Ulysses? And Ulysses is very emotionally distraught because the last time a lover of his found out that he was trans, that was a whole... That was a whole fucking disaster. <laughs> that was, uh... Oh my. And he just... He just gets in... He, Ulysses doesn't tell Joy, or he doesn't ask Joy. He instructs him. He demands Joy to get the fuck out. Uh, like, don't come back for a while. Um, that, uh, I just don't want to see you for a couple of days. And Joy, he just, like, wants to comfort Ulysses. He's like, look, it's fine, like, and, like, mind you, it hasn't, like, really... It hasn't clicked yet that Ulysses is trans. Like, he just wants to, like, hu hug Ulysses. And just... He wants to know what's going on. But, no, that doesn't happen. So he gets... Uh... He gets... You know... He shows himself out. And he's, like, a couple of days. What could I do? Like, he wants to comfort... Ulysses. So he thinks of, like, potential things that Ulysses would like, would like, but he doesn't, like, he knows a lot about Ulysses, but n ironically, not about a lot of the things that he enjoys or finds interest in, because, uh, like, in natural conversation, one of the first things that you, that you and someone else would talk about is, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. But because Joy never opened up at first, uh, they never got to have like those milestone conversations. So Joy is like, um, well, I know that he likes stuffed animals because he, again, missing plot point that I forgot to bring up earlier. Uh, he likes stuffed animals because he had a teddy bear, but it got incinerated during one of our fights with the with some raiders. So uh, Joy hauls his cute little booty <laughs> over to the dinosaurs. <laughs> he goes all the way to Acre. Is it? I know it's not Acre. What is it called? It's the dinosaur state in Brazil. Yeah, Acre, 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 Acre. <laughs> he goes all the way to Acre, Brazil. No, he go he goes to the dinosaur city, and is like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Oh, uh, you got any dinosaur plushies? And uh, the the clerk gives him a bunch of like ripped up teddy bears because it's the nuclear apocalypse uh so everything's like fucking broken or ripped ripped to shreds so joy sews up uh random dinosaur plushes like he doesn't know fucking anything about dinosaurs <laughs> like he's a medical doctor and uh like a botanist but he, he's not like a dinosaur person and he sews up this dinosaur plush and he's like <laughs> that's pretty good that's my first tiny one yet. oh let me look at this uh, in Image 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, hmm, don't, I, it could be a plot point that, I, I feel like Joy, being a huge medical person and reading a lot of uh, pre-apocalyptic medical literature, he would know what top surgery scars are, uh, but maybe because those kinds of procedures are so rare in the post-apocalypse, he just magically wouldn't have heard of it. I, I don't know. Plot point, literally unreadable. So, he goes from the dinosaur city all the way back to the big city <laughs> and tries to find, and mind you, it's been like three or four days at this point, he tries to find um, Ulysses, but he's fucking nowhere. None of the, the guards know where he is, none of the... Um, yeah, to be fair... <laughs> To be fair, yeah. Like, none of the locals know where he is. And Joy is just kind of at a loss. He's like, where... He's, he's thinking, where could Ulysses possibly have gone? I don't think he's dead. Uh, but if he's not here, where would he be? He would be in Good Springs. <laughs> Where light is. So he he walks like a, a week. Not a week. He walks um, a couple, like three or four days back to Good Springs to meet up with light. And light is like, yeah, I haven't seen him since you went back with him to the big city. And Joy is like, well, shit. Uh, wh where, where would he be? Uh, so the two... Light and Joy start going on adventures together. They're, they're not in a relationship, unfortunately. But they're, they are bound in this quest to help find their friend. And they go, they hit all of the cities. They bounce around. Bounce around. They bounce around the, the fucking landscape for two weeks without rest. Yeah, adventure time. And then... Uh, Joy, he's like at the end of his rope. He's like, you know, I'm over it. Uh, uh, like this, this is this really isn't worth it. Um, he, he probably fucking hates me. And he he, uh, so again, another uh, plot point I forgot to introduce. He it like finally clicks as. Um, Like, as he was getting the dinosaur plush sewed back up, Joy was coming to a lot of realizations like, oh, that's why Ulysses wouldn't show me his crotch, or like he would hide away his crotch, or that's why he had those scars, and uh, uh, that's why like this and that and the other thing, and Joy is like... And he learns from Light that uh, like, he knew of Felix that, um, like, from the the campfire green, green scene, uh, that Ulysses had someone named Felix. They had a really bad breakup, but he didn't know why. or And he also didn't know why um, Ulysses had a lot of syringes with testosterone in them. And he actually was really mad at Ulysses for hoarding like the medical wealth because it, he thought that it would be better used like thinking that Ulysses was cis he's like you're already a man what do you like it, it's very selfish of, of you to like need this testosterone but Ulysses actually needs it um and, like, Ulysses was making, like, his own homebrew testosterone from, like, horse piss <laughs> the entire time. So it's, like, really weak anyway, and he needs to take a lot of it, which is why he has so many syringes of, syringes of it. But he, he learned from Light, Joy did, that uh, the reason why uh, Felix and Ulysses broke up and Joy is, like, that's why he was 
so aggressive with the whole encounter with with Teddy. Hey Panda, I'm I'm you I'm talking about a whole story I, I've been thinking about and I'm gonna start working on soon. None of this is written down yet. And you came at like the tail end of it. So uh late game spoilers. <laughs> How are you, Panda? Um so yes, light and joy they're like, okay, let's just go back to the big city, uh, because Joy, what, he he wants to return back there to work again with the Saint X. Um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually quite excellent. Uh, and they see posters all over the town of Ulysses, and it's because he put like an, sorry. Another th plot thread I forgot to set up earlier. Um, Ulysses... Um, sorry, Joy and Light were talking about Ulysses... Uh, you know, on their quest to find him. And... Joy was like, you know... Uh, like, they were talking about how he was an artist, which is a super rare like, skill across the, the post-apocalypse, because it's a very frivolous activity. You know, you can't just, like, fucking be an artist. You need to have, like, support and money and a space, and most of that is impossible in a lot of areas. Uh, and Joy made an off comment. Yeah, it would be really weird if you were also a musician, which is way rarer because you you need the fucking like instruments. <laughs> oh, also another plot thread I forgot to set up. Joy and Ulysses when they were doing their original questing through the big city before Joy started to open up to him, they saw a pre-apocalyptic piano. They saw a piano, and, like, Ulysses, he was kind of joking about it. He didn't actually play it, but he's like, oh, hee hee. Uh, and Ulysses was like, you know, I think you would ca you would catch on really quickly to piano, because it's very intellectual, you know, making fun of, like, Joy's beep-boop personality. Uh, making fun uh, of you know, the piano being a very intellectual sort of instrument, which Joy didn't take very kindly to, because he doesn't like it when his uh, cerebral nature is insulted. But he didn't know that Ulysses, now we go back to the present, <laughs> uh, was a musician, because they see posters, Light and, uh, and Joy see posters all around town, of this huge show, this huge magical show, that's gonna happen at the same place where, Te or where Teddy died, that that casino. Uh, so, um, and mind you, at this point, Joy is just like, man, I just kind of don't want to see Ulysses. <laughs> like that because Ulysses is trans. It's just like he's kind of over it at this point. But Light is like, oh my god! Oh wait, oh we had to support him. Oh, oh come on, please, Joy. And Joy is like, and he's not like a musical artsy schmartsy sort of guy. He's he's just kind of like, okay, <laughs> like just wanting to do it because he and Light became really close friends on their adventure. He's like, yeah, sure. Uh, he he again, Joy isn't a fan that um. He's not really a fan that, uh... He's not really a fan of, um, like, having to pay for any, what he considers frivolous activities. Like, he considers art and music, uh, sacred, but also, you know, this is a time of crisis. We should be diverting these funds towards, like, not entertainment, but rather medical uh, and educational purposes. 
So they go to the show. And Ulysses, like, it's the most opulent. Like, in two weeks, Ulysses by himself put this whole shindig together. Like, when Joy was, like, first looking for uh, Ulysses after the whole Teddy ordeal, he couldn't find him because Ulysses disappeared into the same building where the piano was. And, like, no one genuinely knew where he was. Or he was painting. Like, he, at first he was painting and then was like, uh, oh, I'm gonna go to the piano place. Where he wrote all the sheet music by hand. Again, it's really hard to, like, put together a show like that. Like, write all the sheet music, have people rehearse it and remember the, the music and then put on the show. Just suspend your disbelief. It's magic. Wow! Um, and Joy, he barely has any coin to his name and is already very reluctant to go see the show. But Light, uh, she had this, like, emergency, um, like, spending rations and she got them, like, front row tickets last second. So they're in the front, and it's a very dim room, it's, except for the stage. So it's like uh, the performers can't see anyone's face unless they are right in the front row. Uh, and Ulysses is like, he's the lead singer, he's like, bah, bah, bah. he's like playing the bass guitar, he's like fucking pussy. Or not, not literally, but like, he's like dripping with charisma and charm. He's just bellowing his heart out. And it turns out, after they get done with the first number of the show, uh, Ulysses addresses the audience and he's like, hey yo, what's up? Uh, I, I wrote all of these songs, like every single song. I wrote all of these songs um, uh, for someone that meant a lot to me and I was dumb and now they're gone uh, and I miss them but uh, you know that's just how life is we, we come close to people and you lose them and he probably fucking hates me <laughs> like, he, like just giving this very emotional speech and Joy is like oh no <laughs> like oh and he's wearing his like hot cowboy hat too um and and Light is like oh my god he's talking about <laughs> <laughs> she's like oh my god and joy he's he's just like like tipping the cowboy hat down he's like no I, look i don't i really don't want to be here <laughs> but like deep down inside he's just like <laughs> very homosexual shenanigans happening uh so they go through the rest of the numbers and it's, it's all, like, very romantic, very, oh, I miss, I, I, I miss my lover, or, uh, you know, like, it, it's mixed between that and, I'm over it, I wanna fuck, like, like, something you wouldn't hear. <laughs> Church. <laughs> and the final number comes up. And part of the planned show is that Ulysses is like, ah! Like, like, screaming through the microphone, uh, um, I don't want to say John Coltrane style. What's, what's, like, a famous singer that was, uh, that would write, like, a lot of, like, bow chicka wow wow music? Yes, Arcade, oh, I mean Joy. Arcade is Joy, let's be honest. Or Joy, rather, is Arcade. Like, a little bit more, like, ugh, than Sinatra. I was gonna say that, though. Camera! Camera! I'm getting blurrier! Hello? Camera? I'm almost done. No, uh, I think he was a black singer. I actually don't know who Garth Brooks is. <laughs> it's not John Coltrane, because I don't think he's sung at all. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, um, it was the guy who composed Watermelon Man. I think. Yeah, Herbie Hancock, right? Did he did he sing? Whatever. Yeah, arcade, but he has a hot cowboy hat by default. No, not by default. Anyway, Ulysses is like, ah! <laughs> and part of the plan is that he like goes, like you know, he's interacting with the front row. He's like, oh. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Okay, he's not doing that, but he's just, like, singing his fucking heart out. Uh, and part of the lyrics is he's like, uh, I'm looking at you! I'm looking at you! But, you know, like, in tune, and hot, and kind of deep. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do, di, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. And he's like, I'm looking at you! And he sees Joy, and it's like... <laughs> and he, he, his voice cracks, he's just like... <laughs> I'm looking at... <laughs> and Joy is just like... Uh, and to try and cover, uh, like, his, uh, Ulysses, like, to try and cover his, like, little break in character, he, uh, he, he just, like, has a moment. The music is still playing behind him, and he's just staring at Joy, like, like, not in an angry way, but just as in, like, he's seen a fucking ghost. Uh, and he grabs, and mind you, there's like, God, he like puts her to chokehold. <laughs> oh, God. And he's like, <laughs> he doesn't do that. Uh, but there's like strippers on stage, and they're like, ooh, they're like shaking the groove thing. And he grabs one of them, uh, pretend that it isn't a chokehold. Uh, and he just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he just does something very vulgar to her, but you know, it's like in his in his stage character. And then Bella's out one more time. And everyone's like, oh wow, that is so epic. Wow. And the show ends. And Sunny was like, wow, yay! Or I mean, uh, Light, her name isn't Sunny. Light was like, yay, that was so epic. And Joy is like, I wish I had a hat so he could be like. <laughs> um, so it's after the show, and everyone, uh, everyone wants to uh, like get Ulysses' autograph. They want to talk to him, but Ulysses is just kind of like, uh, 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 uh can I please be with one right now? <laughs> So he retires to the uh, upper, like, podium, not, not podium, like, the upper level of the casino where you can look down on all of the, like, the, the slot machines and stuff. Don't ask how a musical stage in there. Uh, I'm just gonna say they, like, repurposed the gambling floor into a musical area. I, I'll, I, whenever I'm drawing this, I'll fucking get it. If I draw it, I'll, I'll get to that. Whatever. Um, but Light is like, oh, this is your chance. Come on, let's talk to let's talk to Ulysses. And Joy's like, I, I don't know if you realized. Or not. Like he's like putting up the glasses and going like full angsty bitch mode. Oh, hey, Jane. Hello, Queen. I'm talking about a story I'm about to make or about to write down. I've, I've thought through a lot of it. Uh, so, I can't just, like, stop and restart the whole thing, but if anyone wants, like, a recap of all the characters, I will do that when I am f when I finally got it all out of my system. So, Joy is just, like, oh no. Like, like oh, oh, right, he's going, like, full angsty bitch mode. He's, like, 
Uh, White, did you see, like, what happened in that last song? Like, do you know why Ulysses broke character there for a second? And Light was like, oh, I thought that was part of the show. It, it was so realistic. And, like, she, uh, White, is, like, she, she legitimately doesn't know, but Joy is just like, he really does not appreciate Light Act. Like, you know, he thinks that Light is pretending because she, White is characterized more like Moira from Fallout 3 rather than Sunny. So Sunny uses the rest of her money to kind of like bribe the the guards, the, the guards person to the upper floor so they can go talk to Ulysses. And Ulysses, he's just like chilling. He just like wants to be left alone because he saw Joy uh, in the audience and it was like... <laughs> but like as, as they're like climbing up the steps, Joy, he's just getting more and more anxious because like he... He genuinely... From what I've been word like how I've been wording it, it sounds like he doesn't want to be back in a relationship with Ulysses, but he totally does. He's just very ambivalent about it because he's afraid that Ulysses, or he was afraid that Ulysses, wasn't interested in him as well. But after listening to the whole fucking show, he was like, "Oh, he still loves me." Um, but with the end. He got really anxious because Ulysses broke character, and that made Joy like that would make me nervous. I would be like, "So what? what what's going on with Ulysses?" Uh, so just like just like the uh, kind of drawing parallels to the original plan to get into the casino where it was Ulysses and Joy, or yeah, L Ulysses and Joy. Um. Like, Joy was the first one to go into the casino. Then it was Ulysses. Now it's the opposite. Light is gonna go in because Ulysses, he hasn't seen Light and the two are like best buds. While Joy, that reunion, like, Light wants to make sure that Ulysses is kind of in a more relaxed, willing state before uh, Joy comes in. <laughs> Not that anything bad would happen. Uh, so Light is like, oh my god, that, that was so epic. And Ulysses is like, why are you... I mean, like he was excited, but he's like, why are you here? Shouldn't you be back in Good Springs? <laughs> like, wh why are you in the big city, uh, Light? And Light is like, well, because I, I made another friend and we want an adventure and we were trying to find you the entire time. And she gestures to Joy. And Joy is like frozen. He's like, oh no. What do I say? And the two, Ulysses and Joy just like stare at each other. Uh, I haven't really thought through how to tackle this encounter. It, it ends good. That's, it, th this has a happy, this arc if you will, has a happy ending. Uh, the two very quickly make up and uh, all is right. And I haven't really thought, like, after that, Light goes back to Good Springs. <laughs> you know, I should just have, like, the, the cities be called that. Like, here we have the big city, the casino, <laughs> the dino city. <laughs> Good springs in five different quotation sets. Uh, but light goes back, uh, and uh, joy rejoins Ulysses. Yeah, spring of spring of goodness. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know what's what happens after that. But I did develop a lot of that. I de I've developed a lot of, like, the early characterizations between Ulysses, Light, and, uh, Joy. Um, 
and a little bit of Felix, a little bit of Teddy. Um, I don't know if I want there to be an arc where Felix meets, uh, uh, Joy, because there's, like, there's nothing to do there. Like, it wouldn't be aggressive, and it wouldn't be funny. <laughs> it's just kind of like, yeah, these are two characters, but they don't have a, like, Felix, he's stationed at the outpost. There's no reason for him to go anywhere. And there's no reason for Joy to go to that outpost. Like, that, that would be like a non-interaction. And even if they did meet, it's just like, nothing to say. Um, I will say, Felix being a horned bear, it's supposed to be like a combination of the, the Legion and the NCR, like the bull and the, the bears. But there will actually be, like, a, a Legion and an NCR, maybe some other, like, factions. I don't know why I put that in quotes. Uh, so it's, like, still a political situation. I don't know what I would want to have them be fighting over. Maybe, like, a, a water reserve or a huge aquifer. I kind of like the desert thing. But again, I'm trying to, like, slowly, like, pull, you know... Like, uh, like, if, if this was someone wearing, like, a, oh, a piece of clothing, I would just be kind of, like, gently pulling on the back, like, hey, like, no. <laughs> so, but it is definitely post-apocalyptic. A warehouse, <gasps> all the umbrellas you could ever need. It won't ever rain, but... <laughs> If it does, we're covered! Yeah! <laughs> Maybe it can be like a... Like a magical well, being that this is like a magical world. It's fantastic! You can brush my hair. Take me anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. Um, But I, I will figure that out. And I wanna... I know that all the characters have like parallels to F and B. But I'm just I'm slowly... This is in its first stages. Just slowly bring her back. Oh, and there also will be a Mr. House. Mr. House. <laughs> maybe change up the locations. Uh, maybe change up the locations of the cities as well. <laughs> we need those umbrellas. But it is... But is it not a desert, my good dear? Oh, for, for now. But what about next week? It could turn into a rainforest. Mrs. Apartment! <laughs> the apartment always wins! Oh. Oh. Actually, that's a little bit too true. Fucking landlords and all that. Okay, we're gonna go- we're gonna finally get back to drawing. I'll do a little recap of the characters. For those of you who came in mid-story. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I'll be right back.
<laughs> you know the ending already. You know, usually, actually not even usually, 99% of the time when I'm writing a new story, that's where I start so I can weave my way there. But um, being that I have several arcs in mind already, uh, it's like, oh, you know, like I have an end goal and I have elements that, of the characters that I want to have. So I'll just set that up earlier. So it seems like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. If there were any questions that you had that I did not answer during my story, where's my fucking music? Where is it? Hello? There we go. Please ask them again, because I will not scroll up to see them. How much is it to rent a suit in my area? I do not know. I'm not uh, not cheap, I'm assuming. Oh, you know, I I have been thinking about like a Um, I posted it in Dis Dick Sword earlier today. Uh where it was like a what potential factions we could see in a post-apocalyptic Midwest. Maybe this could happen in like fucking North Dakota. <laughs> Or, sorry, maybe maybe more in the mid-Midwest, like Kansas or Iowa. I fucking hate Iowa. Or maybe even Missouri, so that Arkansas thing can, uh... Uh, happen a little bit better. They could be fighting over the St. Louis Arch. <laughs> no, I want the locations to be a little bit... Uh... You know, not that squished, but also close enough together. It could be in the fantasy Midwest. How about that? Uh, the Midwest, known for its fantastical nature. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also wouldn't be able to copyright the work if I called it, like, the Walmart uh, faction. <laughs> Fight for the field of corn! Yes, sir! We got corn, we got pigs, cows, uh, what else do we have? Uh, flat, flat plains. Um, but yes, this is Ulysses. Oh, right, I was gonna do that character recap. Oh, oh that's a smart idea, Moudinho. It could be on the top, middle, west, east, south, north side of things. What? <laughs> wow, I never thought of that. You are so smart. <laughs> right, okay. So this is Ulysses. This was the, the fucker I was talking about. Normally, he would be wearing more clothing. He doesn't normally dress so immodestly. Um, this was... This was Ulysses when he was still known as Styx. Pre-op, pre-transition, pre-tea. Uh, not a pre-teen, he's like 30. Joy uh, is this guy. He's just arcade. That's it. He's arcade, but... Um, uh, but... Uh, slightly... I don't want to say slightly more angsty. He's a little bit more resolute than Arcade. Arcade, he can be very, like, sarcastic and, uh, very deadpan -y. Joy is also very deadpan -y, but because he talks less, he's he has less opportunity to, like, be snarky and sarcastic. Um, Light... That's just Sunny Smiles, but if she had the characterization of Moira, like she's almost sickening, sickeningly sweet and saccharine. Teddy is just Benny, uh, but transphobic. I feel like, I feel like Benny, because he wanted an independent New Vegas, I feel like he wouldn't be like that strongly opposed to, uh, like, 
psychosexual discourse, but Teddy definitely is. He's huge transphobe. Um, and also a huge homophobe. Just, just a fucking dick, honestly. <laughs> Felix, he's a major knight, but more willing to be in a relationship and to like, uh, yeah, every gender is baby or kid. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, liberals. There's only one gender. It's baby. Baby or you dig? <laughs> um and was there any other characters? I don't think so. At least for right now. Like there's other characters I'm planning. But I just wanted to focus on the main ones and like flesh out some of the arcs. Like I want to seem like the thing, the whole reason why the political situation is happening is like kind of urgent, but not urgent enough so that uh, Ulysses here can get his top surgery. Or he can get like, trans he can transition for a little bit. Uh, so that uh, Joy and Light can go off and do jack-all for two weeks straight. <laughs> like, it's not that urgent at the beginning, but as you go forward, it's a, it's a little bit more and more like, uh-oh. Oh, maybe we should have been doing something. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me draw uh, Light next. It's, it's kind of funny, because people will associate the, the name Light with a male character because of that one anime. I think that's Death Note. Yeah, it's Death Note. And people would assume that Joy is a female name. I wanted to go very... I don't know why I do this. It could just be an NB thing. But I fucking love having weird, fucked up names. Especially if it... Um like, implies the other gender. Like, joy. Yeah, it's soon, TM. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the magical bat- the magical battle of Huvada is happening very soon, but only when the player assumes agency. I don't want to do a chosen one thing. I fucking hate that trope. Because, like, this seems like a very Mary Sue type of story. It's like, oh, look at this trans character. Everything good happens to the trans character. No, I, I don't want him to have an easy time. Trans people don't have an easy time in real life. I want to make a fucking statement. Like, I want people to feel like shit while reading this story. <laughs> I don't want to mix, uh, light- I almost called her Sunny. I mean, she is basically Sunny. Uh... Having long hair, I feel like, would be very detrimental in the wasteland. But Light has long hair, because I think it would look very cute. Yeah, like, it, it means more when a character like, earns something good, or, um, like, it, it just means more, instead of, like, it either being given to them, ex deus es machina, or they're the chosen one. Like, that fucking sucks. I don't want that. That's not how real life is. That face you get long grabbed by a mutated rat. Oh yeah, I also have to think of creatures as well. Also, I don't want her to be wearing a dress because she's a hunter, right? You know, it's kind of hard to run around chasing mutated animals if you're... If you're, uh... Uh, wearing a dress. I'm looking at you, Veronica. That they were just some person. Oh, wait, I gotta look up like those like 70s anime eyes. I want her to look like a soft person, you know? Mm 
Yeah, I need some uh, fucking reference pictures, please, Google. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm talking about. Fine. Fine, I'll look up Interstellar 5555. Since you won't show me. Yeah, chosen one? More like fucking idiot. Got him. Oh, oh. Oh, Queen. This glove. Let me show you the reason why I draw it. Or why I wear it. So, this is my tablet. Tablet, say hi. Uh, oh. I shouldn't press button. I turned the fucking volume up. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that because I think it was client side. Anyway, this is my tablet. And I'm constantly rubbing against it. And I don't want my oils to accumulate on the surface as much as possible. So, I wear this glove. That's what it's for. You don't have to wear it. I just think it feels more comfortable. More comfortable. Oh yeah, I, I need to, again, need more feminine practice. Also, let's make you, like, have a pointy chin. But how are you, Queen? It's nice to see you. Oh, and by the way, the like even though white is supposed to represent the color yellow, she's not always going to be yellow throughout the entire story. It's just because, um, like, when Styx slash Ulysses starts out, he only perceives the world in black and white, like good and evil. It's through other perspectives he learns. Oh, and it, the the change like is also like shown like in the environment. Like after his disaster with Felix, um, uh, he can finally appreciate the true hues of most of the wasteland because <laughs> it's orange yellow and orange equals i mean yellow and red equal <laughs> yes when when light is irradiated she will turn green like my like with joy the idea is that he's natively blue at least when ulysses first meets him but because of uh you know, because of, uh, some of the, some of the, uh, um, stuff that he's hiding. He's very opalescent. Uh, if we get around to coloring this, I'll, I'll show you. I just want to draw everyone first. Wow, damn, Light, you look fucking ugly. <laughs> damn, Shorty! God damn! Oh, yeah, let me scooch over a little bit. So I'm looking at the center of my screen instead of, like, the... We gotta put her in some, like, badass... Uh... Like, raider. She's not a raider, but... Or a scavenger. Whoa! 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 Hold up, lady. Also, I want her to look a little bit less like me. Maybe let's make her hair curly. I like curly hair. You 
You know, okay, honestly, I know I said I was gay, but bitches with curly hair, like rose quartz. But yeah, I think it's like, I think it's funny that Sunny is very associated with the color red. I wish that could have worked out. But I think it kind of makes more sense for the NCR slash the Legion especially to be associated with red and the, the NCR and the Legion. <laughs> because like they are, they're the ones going to war. A bald, bald bloke. This, you know, again, I know that Obsidian took a lot of, uh... Inspiration from Fallout 2. And that New Vegas was a, a lot of... Uh, cut content, but... There's, yeah, there's a lot of references to Fallout 2. Also, maybe give her... Like five fingers. She's not a mutant. She hasn't lost any of them yet either. And I gotta give her guns too. 50s sci fi flicks. What about them? She, you know, she looks like a rejected Princess Leia. <laughs> no, Light, I gotta do Light better. Uh... Um... Like, gun, armor, suit, I don't know. I'm putting, like, buzzwords so I'll, I'll get, like, a cool suit design. Maybe I'll just look at, like, Sunny's outfit. Wow, I forgot, you know, her outfit's cool as hell. Um, a holster, that would be, you know, a gun holster. Just take my word for it, that's a gun holster. Yeah, they're all in a band. Like, if I ever animate this, they're definitely all gonna be associated with different, like, uh, instruments. Like, Ulysses will be, like, a bass guitar. I don't know what light would be. Maybe, like, a, a xylophone. Because yellow is a very, like, bright color. Joy, definitely, like, a theremin. Do you guys know what theremins are? Like, some sci-fi, 50s sci-fi bullshit. Uh, cause you know, the energy weapons and stuff. Uh, Benny could be like a distortion electrical guitar. Uh, Felix would be a trumpet or a horn. Just a nice, like, military brass instrument. Also, I think I know what the problem is now. I was trying to overcompensate. Fuck, and I- I overcompensated by over- whatever. It's fine. It's just concept art. Uh, and let's give you, like, some cool boots with the wraps. An octopus- you know, there needs to be more mutants. Like, Joy is already a shapeshifter. Uh... Um, definitely light and uh, uh, light and Ulysses are humans. Maybe the Legion could be a bunch of like sentient cephalopods that got like fucking mutated. 
You know, they're pretty smart too. Maybe, like, instead of all the different tribes that the Legion was conquering, this version of the Legion could be led by an octopus under the sea. <laughs> and they conquered a bunch of other, like, smart animals, like crow. I mean, they're smart, but you know what I mean. Like, hyper-intelligent, almost, like, human, like, baby-human levels of intelligence. Like, cr- like corvids, in general. Uh, dolphins. Other parrots. We could definitely, uh... Uh throw in a jade beak in there but it wouldn't be canon speaking of I do need to go back and rethink a lot of the, the wanderling lore I've always been a little bit dissatisfied with the uh, with the uh, with the animals uh, give her a fucking knife like a dagger It's made out of a big shark tooth. You know, the more I'm thinking about it, maybe it could just be like sea animals. It's like Hoseki no Kuni style. All the the sea life is just out to get them. Get some stitching in there. Like, these, like, Teddy, Light, Felix, they're all gonna look different. But, honey, Joy, Joy's gonna look exactly like our kid. I just, I can't help it. The light hair, the glasses, god. That could be circumvented a little bit with his, uh, with his abilities, though. And by shapeshifter, it's not like he has free reign to transform into whatever. It's more so rather involuntary on his part, which... From a power percep- from a power percep- power perceptive? Power perspective. Sucks. But I don't want to make him, like, overpowered, you know? Because I feel like, oh, we have hit an obstacle. I know, let's just use Joy to turn into a big fucking mega shark and kill everyone. <laughs> so, th- I think that's what I'm gonna do. And have one of the characters go, wow, you're fucking useless. <laughs> That's horrible. He's more worth as a doctor, anyway. The Wonder Twins? Uh, I think I- you know, I actually think I know that from adult- uh, from Robot Chicken. Where they made, like, a parody of that. So I think I do. And we gotta have, like, the sunshine motif. Yeah, probably. Why do you bring it up? Are you, are you looking at, like, these two? Oh, I'm thinking of the Olsen twins. Is, is, is that what that is? I know it's a desert, uh, so I don't know why they would dress so warmly. I guess, you know, it could be a desert without it having to be warm. Or ice. Oh yeah, I will turn into a bucket of water! <laughs> I will turn into an epic mega jaguar! Oh, it's like a. I'll, I'll turn it to a helicopter. I'll turn it to a, a bucket of water. 
Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my god, this shoot is bothering me so bad. Yeah, maybe Joy, because one of his, um, one of his, like, primary transformations is water. So, you know, maybe at the 11th hour, he could turn into a bucket of water. <laughs> oh, that would be the, the, the ultimate sacrifice, you know? It's like, oh, uh, he's like, oh, I'm, everyone's dying of drought, and I'm so jealous that, uh, Dr. Henry is saving more lives, and I just, I just want to help people, so I will turn into the ocean. <laughs> that would be such a fucking cop out. <laughs> also, worst ending. Actually, no, as I'm thinking of that, that would be pretty cool. And it, it would be foreshadowed a lot. Because... He, he can change size as well, depending on, like, his... The intensity of the emotion that he feels. So he could turn into a big fucking bucket of water. <laughs> big enough to... To help everyone in need. Yeah, let, let's just, like, you know, make it a little bit more busy. I... I... I love... I need to get out of simple character designs. I do want the story in general to be comedic. Like, I don't want it to be nearly as, uh, as serious as it sounds like it would be. Unless we're in the fucking third joy saga of the day. Yeah, like I want to make it recognizable. Like that's why I added this kind of mullet look to sticks. And I'm thinking about having like these uh, cool pauldrons. Wait, my name's Paul. Pauldrons. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, we could have like a. Yeah, I want some like uh. Some designs here. Was it it Pablo? Paul, Pablo, Saul, Saulius, uh, Pob, Bob. It's all the same fucking name. Pop Bob? No, that's Python Baby. Okay, so I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna clear the room here. Here's like the the spectrum of Pauls. I'm Paul. This is Pablo. Python Baby is just Python Baby. He doesn't have like a, a Paul adjacent name yet. Anthro Jade Beak is Saulu. What? My name is a fucking slang for cock! It's a- it's a what? Anyway, Anthro- Anthro Jade Beak, that's Saulu. Uh... Pauldron? You know, I would do that. That is something that I would fucking do. I must ask the members of the council, how- should we- should we call Python Baby, uh, Pauldron? 
I think it's kind of a cute name. Also, I love pauldrons. They're like my favorite. I am not fucking kidding here, by the way. They are my absolute favorite. Um. Yeah, I got. I want to have like a bunch of spikes on me. Okay, so that's uh, light. Here, I'm gonna. Like, write this down. So this is sticks. It could also be spelled like this, just depending on what character is speaking. <gasps> Let Pauldron and write Pauldron! <laughs> <laughs> he deserves to be called Yeeted? No. Why would he do that? To amend this, can we spam some pauldrons in chat? Little Python babies for me, please. So that's Styx. This guy is Ulysses. Ulysses is such a cool fucking name. Uh, this is Light. Okay, er, Actually, let's draw Joy next. Oh, Senpai. Also, light looks, uh, cross-eyed. <laughs> Teddy, yay! Oh, thank you for so many Python babies. He brings me so much joy. Where the family was like Robert, Robert Jr., Robina, Roberta, and Tim. We don't talk about Tim. Uh, right. Oh god, it's, it's gonna be weird drawing Joy next to female... Female Ulysses. Do we... Why, why does the boss music always show up whenever I think of Joy? Let's see, high, high cheekbones, squinty little beady eyes. <laughs> I kind of want him to have like a very deadpan, like just an uninterested sort of look. Upturned nose. He's got like that Jeffrey Dahmer serial killer look. <laughs> oh god. This isn't mirrored, right? Okay. So I don't have to mirror the names when I fucking export the image. Want to do that shit ever fucking again? And Joy is like approximately the same age as well as uh, as Arcade, so like mid thirties, late late thirties. Whoa, whoa, he's got to be broader. He's an adult man, okay, not a twink. I did eat before the stream, and then. Okay, I went on a two-hour walkie section se session, uh, and then I showered, and then I ate, and I passed out, and then it was time to stream. That's how my day was. It was a good day. It was very humid outside, though. Oh wait, let's have the pelvis be up here, so... Because usually tall people are taller because they have taller legs and not a taller torso. Fun fact. Yeah, let's zoom that a little bit. Oh yeah, also, unlike Arcade, uh, 
Joy is he he is open to economically right leaning ideals, but he's he's reluctant to do that. But he is open to that sort of idea. Yeah, Mr. Streber, why would you shower? Why would you take a shower after sweating outside in 90 degree, 95 degree heat for two hours? Why would you do that? Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, he looks perfect. That's basically what he looks like. <laughs> Epic. That is so cool. Now, I gotta give him, like, the iconic Cade glasses. I gotta. The fucking beep boop glasses. <laughs> no, I have to. Like, we all know what he's gonna look like. It's just, you know. Also, I want to make him look a little bit more prim and pop. Wapo. But, actually, I was going to, but then I realized this is the post-apocalypse. I don't think anyone's too worried about how they look. But you're right, that, like, just him being a stick figure perfectly captures, like, what, you know, like, the, the kind of person he wants to look like. Maybe there could be moments where he's just rendered like that. And because, you know, shapeshifter and not wanting to call attention to himself. I know, I was like, wow, two people said that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, but uh, the the style I'm planning, very simplistic. I don't want it to be like too much. I want to do kind of like a Hoseki no Kuni sort of simplistic thing with Jiggy. Shit. And unlike RK, he's gonna have a cool battle belt. You can see that's kind of like a theme here. Everyone's got like belts. Maybe he could have like just something sticking out the side. He needs to put like those, maybe a backpack too. I haven't really thought about how long after the uh, apocalypse this would be. I want it to be way longer than a couple of hundred years. Maybe like four or five hundred. A fairly long while. Yeah, he does- like, that's the point. He's supposed to look like a fucking- <laughs> That's good that you said that. Fuck, I need to make him a little bit less scrawny though. Like, he- I want- I still want him to look like a piece of meat. That, that's- uh, mm, Interesting choice of words. Yeah, maybe it's like this. Yeah, like this- this is like too thin. He needs to be a little bit broader. This is our D&D &D party. Oh! He looks like a lesbian. <laughs> Who Guar? I have no idea who Guar is. Oh, right. I know what Guam is. I'm waiting for, uh, for the beautiful imperialist United of States. United- yes. United of States to make a decision on that. Same thing with Cuba. Either give us Cuba or not. I just want to see the 51 star state flag. <gasps> Can I see a picture? Ooh woo. 
Yeah, that just looks like so stiff. I mean, that's the, that's the point. I want him to look very frozen. What's up, Looney? The eight oh, based. I'm drawing characters from a story I'm working on, and it's very gay. And the main character is trans, and he uh, is trans in a very homophobic, transphobic world, just like our very own epic. But it's post-apocalyptic, so it's even more difficult. Yeah, he's just, like, too thin. Oh, I am very familiar with Mudinho. Testosterone makes your impulse control very low. Uh... Oh, I have a story from when my, when my best friend started tea. Forced my hand. Oh, this image? This is Looney, this is my husband. His name is Arcade Israel Gannon, and he's the love of my life. And I had been coming to a lot of very unfortunate conclusions about myself that I was better off not knowing. <laughs> anyway! Uh. But yes, I am obsessed with this image. In fact, the character I'm drawing right now is directly based off of him. Both in personality and especially in looks. Here, move the- let's not worry about that until I have the base thing drawn. Based? <laughs> he always just has his hands in his pockets. He doesn't like people looking at him. I mean, I might make it a thing so that shapeshifters are kind of like a huge no-no. So that could be like his dark past instead of the um No, I don't want to hear it, Looney. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe not in this chat. Yeah, Fallout New Vegas, uh, I was already trans and, like, ambiguously gay, but now I'm- I'm very gay. Oh dear. Oh my. I don't want to be gay. It was part of my branding that I specifically wasn't gay. But I'm- I'm- thank you for offering, Sharky. In tackle shops? What are you talking about? Am I gonna get tackled if I go into a tackle shop? I know what tackle- I know what tackle is, by the way. My best friend in the whole world is, like, obsessed. No, no, he's supposed to be prim and proper. Like, I feel like Joy, out of all of these characters, would know how to button his fucking shirt up. <laughs> Maybe, like, give him, like, the slight, like, gay tilt, you know what I'm saying? Like, his hip- his hip- his hip is just very... slightly, you know... Is he, you know... fruity? 
But just like Arcade, I don't want to make his like homosexuality t like that noticeable unless like he said something. Rap what what is everyone talking about? What the f I did I miss something? Who the hell is Robbie Ed? I'm gonna rob you of your Ed if you're not fucking careful, Buster. I don't know who that is. Oh! Oh, wait! No, I do know who that is! <laughs> I was like, what? What? I love- you know, honestly? Yeah, I- Mr. House. I love Mr. House. I would have been a dirty damn Mr. House dog until the very end if it weren't for fucking Arcade. If Arcade had like a not shitty ending with the house uh, endings, I totally would have done Mr. House. But you know, like, his endings weren't great and he did like the angsty bitch pose to me. Let me show you. Oh. He was just like, I don't see where you're... And I'm like, no. Arcade, no! Okay, don't do this to me. I know. Bruh. Bruh. I love Mr. House. I may not necessarily be a libertarian, but I love me some capitalism. I do. If I didn't, I would not be uh, streaming. Or an artist. Just kidding. <laughs> ah, yes. Twitch streamers. They stream only for the money. Nothing else. Gotta get my, my 20 cents an hour. You've written entire monologues? Wow. That's impressive. Shit. Oh, wait, I'm not- there we go. You get to see me, like, it, it zoomed in depth. Oh god, he's tilting. I don't know what kind of shoes to give him. Maybe, like, sneakers. Just something very casual. Have you posted it on fanfic.net yet? Do you just keep them to yourself? I don't think I've ever really properly written a fanfiction. Like, outside of the Kerbal stuff, I wouldn't consider that fanfiction. Five- 500 words? I guess that's pretty long for just a monologue. I'm like, that's not that long. And then I realized, oh wait, if it's just... This is all, like, crooked. Fab. Fuck. What are you trying to do? It's funny, I'm the, I'm the one that's supposed to be, like, the gremlin, you know? I'm supposed to be the one who's completely unpredictable, but it's always chat who confuses me. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! Maybe his shirt could be... I don't know. I kind of... I think it would be kind of funny to have his shirt, like, not completely tucked in, but it's like, well, that wouldn't really be in his character. I want him to be very, like, not stuck up, but just very aware. <laughs> I charged my phone! And it died! <laughs> no, I just... I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see, I see. I, I, you know, I've also never really read a lot of fan fiction either. Here, 
let's let's do a little one of these on him. Skirt. And also, Kliss's legs up a little bit. You're a homestuck fanfiction trash child. I know. I've seen. Well, I mean, I haven't seen, but... From the way that you go gremlin mode over it, for sure. Honestly, I haven't... I, you know, I shouldn't say that, because I've seen you go gremlin mode over the Owl House more than Homestuck. You talk a lot of Homestuck, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, oh! Oh, joy! Oh, close up your legs, honey. <laughs> No, I meant, like, instead of having it be straight, which makes it look stiff, like, just close it up. Maybe his, uh, you know, I need the clothes need to be a little bit more torn up. Slut! Slut alert! I repeat, we have a- oh god! <laughs> Slut alert! <laughs> I'm calling Twitch police. We have spotted a thought. You know, that's one thing I, I wish I saw more in Fallout. Like, absolutely fucking ripped clothing. Outside of, like, homeless people. <laughs> I mean, I think that house could do a lot if w with the proper resources. I mean, look what he turned the strip up into. Now... The, the the issue is just trying to get the that's that funding into things that matter instead of opulent <laughs> like shows. See, that's the one little itty bitty issue I find with Mr. House. The one little a little bitty it oopsie daisy. <laughs> and yes, I do realize that's the whole point of the, of Mr. House. Hey, uh, Mr. House, instead of uh, kicking out the followers, could you make a giant penis building? <laughs> Mr. House, can you please make a giant penis building for me and my my gay boyfriend to live in? Ooh. -woo. No, his- I, I do want his facial structure to be... Like, similar. <laughs> Mr. House, I just discovered this holotape uh, program that has something called Minecraft in it, and I played it on one of the Securitrons. Uh, and I think it's epic. I think you should try it out. And it's just like a kill code. <laughs> Mr. House, Mr. House, look at what the followers gave me. It's Minecraft. You wanna play Minecraft, Mr. House? That would be so epic. I know. <laughs> He, he downloads Minecraft from some shady website for free and immediately dies. Oh, also, these characters are no longer, like, uh, in scale. I mean, they're in scale, but they're not, like, on the same, like, plane of scale. They're not on the same plane! Oh god, they're on different planes. Okay, maybe not make Ulysses get smaller. Maybe... He stays the same fucking size. 
Ah yes, testosterone. It's known for making you shrink. Wait, who's flying the plane? Oh, it's Yes Man, of course. Oh yeah, fun fact, Emily, the I think she's the chick who stays outside of Mr. House's. Yeah, maybe uh like the Saint X could have like an icosahedron. Do you do you fuckers even know what that is? It's like the the D20 and it could be like their symbol. Okay, and then the final character for now is- Oh wait, no, there's two more characters. Fuck! The Cult of the Dies! No, because then that would be gambling. Oh, I gotta do, um, the knight stand-in. His name is Felix. He's a bear with horns. Like an actual bear, not like a... You know. Not like a... That other kind of. <laughs> but it is canon that Ulysses is a furry in this timeline. He was in a relationship with an actual creature. Maybe I should make him more monstrous, you know? Like, we have the w the one main monster character. Maybe let's make him... Like, look a little bit more than a bear with horns. You know, it's kind of fitting. The first character we get, the first main character we get transphobia from is a demonic creature with glowing eyes and horns. Hmm, very, very subtle there, Mr. Writer. Oh, yeah. Oh, excellent. He looks, you know, kind of nice, though. Like, he just looks like a sweet little dude. I'd hug him. If I knew he weren't a trans- if I didn't know he were a transphobe. <laughs> oh god. I know, yeah, he, he looks cute. But he's as monstrous as, uh, he seems. I, I don't want to make him too tall. You know, he's just like a, a demon creature. but just very, like, blocky. Wait, Ulysses says- Wait, what? Wait, Ulysses actually says that? Like, the other Ulysses? <laughs> Wait! I- Okay, I haven't played that DLC, so I don't know what Ulysses says. Oh. Okay. I'm like, what? I don't care if I'm getting spoiled. I'm just like, wait, what? The symbolism! Ah! Oh, God! I'm trying to find some more music. Um... Oh, we haven't played... Uh... We haven't played this stuff in a little bit. Wow.
Oh, right. Actually, instead of putting him in, like, something that looks like NCR, I could put him in something that looks like... I, I kind of like the idea of uh, the Union and the Confederacy reenactors, like, going crazy. So we could even put him in, like, some Confederate... <laughs> like, really drive the point out, I'm like, huh, that should have been your first red flag, Ulysses, that he's a Confederate soldier. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh god. Google is going to be very confused with my search history. Oh, no, don't loop it. And the bull, only 18. Well, that's because the the bear in the NCR flag has two heads, while the bull only has one head, and 18 times 2 is 48. <laughs> uh, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Maybe I could also uh, add in some other, like, animalistic... Instead of him just being like a broad dude with a demon bear head. Yeah, thick demon. Thick demon bear. <laughs> Simp alert. No, you should be sippy for this guy. Simp for uh, Joy instead. Joy, very. He's not very uwu. I want to drive the point home. Joy is not meant to be a twink. He is a bit on the thin side. You know, he's not musk. Well, he's not super muscular. But he's not meant to be, you know, like a soft boy. He's an adult man. <laughs> you know, a lot of people on, on Tumblr forget that. At least back in my day, when I when I use when I use Tumblr back in my day, people would take uh, male characters and turn them into like a weird like teenage girl version of themselves. It's like no 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 no. Yeah, his arcade's card looks weird. <laughs> he looks demonic. <laughs> oh god. Oh, he needs, like, the dumb little confederate hat. Oh, it actually has a name? Oh, I thought it was just, like, a weird, like, deviantart tumbler thing that happened. Wow. So nothing's changed in, like, a decade. Yeah, maybe make the, the silhouette a little bit more. Mind you, uh, the NCR in this story, they're not all gonna be demons. They're just very... They're not demonophobic, while most of the other factions are, including Ulysses at first. Because it's like, oh, it's kind of like ghouls. Like, they're just... Most of them are mindless monsters produced by radiation. However... Like, not all of them are, you know, feral. <laughs> oh, I know, Tumblr Man, because I follow this voice actor uh, named Gianni something. I forgot the his last name, but... Maybe he could have uh, hooves as well. Hooves. You know, I feel like uh, if I really went through with this comic, 
Fariz would be like, oh my god, I love Felix. He's he's so hot. Oh my god, and he's like the only actual furry character. And then they'll learn, oh no, he's a raging transphobe. Fuck, we can't sip for him. And if you do sip for him, you get cancelled. That would be kind of funny. I, ca I have to make him hot so people can get in trouble for simping for him. <laughs> I have to! <laughs> Is that evil? Am I evil? There we go! Machagrano! I knew it started with an M. Oh yeah, I gotta have- I wanna make him very imperial looking, you know? Way, 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 way. Man, I just realized the Confederacy uniforms aren't that interesting on their own. And maybe he could have, like, two- that's not a penis, I promise. He has, like, two arms. On each arm. Two hands, rather. Yeah, actually, let me- let me, uh, show that off better. There's better ways to, like, show off that information. But I do want a very American aesthetic. Instead of just like pure fantasy. Also, I don't know what you're talking- Again, I'm gonna reiterate, I have no I fucking idea what you're going on about. Yeah, maybe two elbows per arm. I feel like that would be a bit- like, making clothing in the post-apocalypse is hard enough, and now you have to worry about, like, making clothing specific- like, sized clothing for weird, fucked up, mutated anatomy. That shit has to be custom, dog. I swear. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna nod my head and go, yeah! Yeah, son! Oh, hot diggity! You know, I should say hot diggity more. I think hot diggity is very cute. I do want to go for a little bit decorated of clothing. Yeah, the frog should be free! Why are you tying it down? That's not nice. Gotta have the buttons. These arms should be a little bit... These are also hooves. Oh! Oh, that's what you're- oh, That would be really cool. I thought you were talking about, like, like, cufflinks. I'm like, why would I make- What are you talking about frogs for? Now, thank you for showing me this. We have to do this now. Maybe even the gay, like, little... Like, that's- that's how people know.
thank you. I was like, what the fuck are you? Why would you bring that up out of nowhere? What are you talking about? Yes, we have to do that. That's very Imperial. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Because, like, you talk a lot about uh, frogs a lot, so I thought you were just, like, going off on some weird tangent. <laughs> I'm like, okay, TT. <laughs> <laughs> like oh god they finally they finally uh hit rock bottom i know look he has he has all those buttons so he can use all all the four hands yes like there there will actually be nice demons in fact i should maybe i can add like two or three main characters who are nice demons uh and we'll meet them before Felix, let me write his name down. So it's not like, oh look, he's a demon. Very subtle symbolism there. <laughs> but yeah, I fucking love these, uh, like these kinds of fasteners. Yeah, that's a lot more natural looking than like 57 buttons. Like a triangle. He's got one eye and a top hat and he possesses children. <gasps> Dude, Doc Mitchell being a demon? I mean, uh, 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 uh Mitch Dockle. <laughs> TM. Oh, I haven't, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, I was, I, I didn't know what I could make, uh, Doc Mitchell into. That's a genius idea. Because they're supposed to be, like, demon scared ofness in, like, every faction except for the NCR. Mach. <laughs> Mach Digital. <laughs> ah, my favorite character from Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Mach Digital. That sounds like a name that you would see in, like, a, a very poorly translated Nintendo Entertainment System game. Ah, yes. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, fun fact. In Chinese, Yao Guai just means demon. It doesn't just mean like bear or bear demon. So it's kind of fitting that this demon here is bear. Maybe we can make this fur. Because the point of the horns is that it's supposed to represent the bull. But if he has like these horns, it kind of up it, it it obscures like the two main horns. Let's see, can I get like decorated Civil War uniform? Like I want this guy to have like a bunch of medals and a bunch of like. Uh, like varsity gear. Oh yeah, I was in band in high school. Yeah, like something very American. Uh, a nice little like gunpowder thing. I also think it would be kind of cool like, even though this could, I, I would like energy weapons, I also want, like, traditional, like, flintlock pistols and, like, <laughs> like, uh, what are those called? Uh, bayonets. Uh, because of the Civil War reenactors. So maybe, like, actual guns do exist, but they are, I mean, like, modern guns are... They do exist and they are used, but they're extremely difficult to get uh, a hold of because it's been more than, it's like 400 to 500 years. And they haven't been really manufactured. Like, we're working with a longer time scale than Fallout. Or most Fallout games, I think. I don't think anything goes past the 24th century. Yeah, bayonets are pretty cool. 
I really like uh, ye oldy guns. And he can have a tail too, like a tiger. Tigers are so epic. I love tigers. And maybe, maybe because he's red, he could have a bunch of uh, tiger stripes as well. <gasps> a reenactor visited. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Dalton, hello. Greetings. Let me get you a shout out, fool. How are you doing tonight? Dalton! Dalton! Cutie Pants, Metro Exodus. Oh, is that that, like, space game? Like, the cowboy space game? So, Dalton, I'm working on a story. Um, and uh, these are the, some of the characters for it. And it's post-apocalyptic, and the main character is trans, and definitely not me. Definitely not a stand-in for yours truly. Yeah, Dalton? Who the hell is Dalton? What, is he that, like, cute snake VTuber? Nah, never heard of him. Oh, because I've heard of Metro Exodus. Uh, do you like- oh, excuse me, do you like it? He needs a little thing in the middle of his head. No, I think he's perfect. Like, I'm already- I'm already struggling to get, like, the confederate- Oh, by the way, we're drawing a transphobe right now, because he's supposed to be- the, the point where Ulysses goes through a really... The main character, Ulysses, goes through a really painful character development moment, TM. Oh yeah, I just realized Ulysses is similar to Odysseus, and Odysseus had like his whole journey, and Ulysses is also going on a journey. Oh yeah, like, give him like a medal or two. Again, I don't know why he would be wearing these outside of a parade, but... You know, it, it it's supposed to be, uh, like, they take way too much pride in continuously um, reenacting the Civil War over and over and over again. Like, at this point, there's nothing to, to wage war over. Maybe they just do it because they think it's fun. Oh, the pants stripe! Dude! Oh my god, you're so smart. TT's been saving my ass all night. And I doubted them once. I feel so horrible. Doubt them once. Never again. What? That's crazy, Dalton. I've... I don't think I've... I've 100%ed, like, two games my whole life. But yes, after I get done, there's one more character. His name is Teddy. He's just a regular old human. Oh, he- oh, Felix needs, like, some, uh... Maybe I could just do that with color. Uh, he needs some, like, Civil War era... hair. Nothing. You know, that's how my uh, best friend Jackie was. Like, she is absolutely obsessed with that. And also, she was ra born and raised in Arkansas. So, like, she's not a, you know, obviously she's not a fucking confederate, but she's very enamored with the, uh, the, um, the aesthetic. And I kind of like it. I'm gonna say it. The Twitter raffle? It's okay, I'm still on my little break, but I will get back to you tomorrow. Oh yeah, by the way, we're having a subathon raffle. And I think it's open for like another two weeks or so. Dalton, that's your second raffle ticket. I have it on my little note sheet here. No, you're missing one very important detail, TT, and that's the whiskey. You gotta get the whiskey. Woo! But yes, I will ask you about that first thing tomorrow morning, Mr. Dalton. 
And by the way, I am opening my commissions again tomorrow. I enjoyed my little two days of uh, break. I think I really needed it, because uh, it felt really good. Yeah, get drunk, bite the rag, there goes your arm. Oops, you died anyway. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally cut myself too. Ah, uh, now I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the submarine. That's where I step you in the, the submarine from uh, that one horror game, Iron Lung. And you die. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then we just toss your limbs outside for the dogs to eat. Okay, so I knew that Ulysses was a character from one of the DLCs. I didn't... I wasn't thinking of that when I made this character. Oh, Dalton! Do you know who are these other characters? All of these other characters are supposed to be... They have um, links to the original game. One of them is very obvious. <laughs> if you know who I've been simping for for like the last week... Oh, probably over a week straight, probably two weeks. You know what I was trying to go for, but the other two, uh, the other two might be a little bit, um, obscure. Yeah, Felix is a, he's a little bit, you would, I don't think even a Fallout fan, if I explain the lore of what Felix is supposed to represent, they wouldn't know who Felix is. And even Light, you know, if you didn't know, uh, like, her personality, it would be a little bit difficult to figure out who she is as well. Dalton, I actually... I almost fucking cried when I was doing Arcade's Quest. Like, I spoiled myself. Like, I was going to go for the doc- for the- I keep wanting to call him Dr. House. Mr. House ending, and then I- spoiled myself like a dumb fucking idiot on arcades endings and I'm like <gasps> <laughs> actually I'm kind of glad I did that because um, I had no clue that he even had a quest because people would tell me oh I you know I love arcade he has such great dialogue and I'm like what dialogue because I, I I didn't I, I don't know so that allowed me to do his quest, and I was like planning on like having like a little bit like oh oh no arcade don't leave me, but I actually got really worked up. <laughs> I'm like no <laughs> arcade no. I know his idle dialogue. What's up? Sure, just don't treat me like a pack brahmin. Wow, so compelling. And people were talking about, like, how his dialogue implied that he's completely gay. And I'm like, what dialogue? <laughs> what? What dialogue? <laughs> I found it! I found it. But, okay, so let me go over the characters for the newbies from Dalton's stream. By the way, hi! My name's Pipe. I actually made Dalton's model. In fact, I made Dalton. I'm his dad. That's why I get to call him cute. Okay, so Styx is Ulysses. These two are the same character. They are our protagonist, okay? And definitely not a stand-in for me at all. <laughs> uh, also, the, the story follows New Vegas a lot too. Don't worry about that. Uh, one of the first characters who Ulysses meets is Light. And Light is Sunny Smiles. Uh, then they meet a character named Felix, who is supposed to be Major Knight. Uh, but Felix finds out that Ulysses is trans. Which, uh, he, he goes full transphobe mode, which is not cool. Uh, and Ulysses has like that that ends up to be a catastrophic breakup. So then Ulysses meets Joy, also known as Joint J sorry, Joy Saint Ick, also known as Joy Stick. Joy Mr. Joy Saint Ick. 
Light grins. That's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I would like last names for these characters, though. Um, and the two, they have a really nice relationship with each other. But the issue is that Ulysses does everything in his power to have Joy not figure out that he doesn't have a penis. Felix fuck face! Ah! Um, I actually, uh, if you want the full, s the, the full story, how I have it so far, just go back and rewatch the VOD. It's like the first hour of the stream. Um, but, uh, outside from that, mostly everyone is human. It's the post-apocalypse. It takes place 400 to 500 years after a great war, instead of like two to 300. So things are way worse. You would think that society would have built itself up a little bit, but in this area of, uh, we'll say it's the United States for now. In this area of the United States, we have Civil War reenactors who have made it their entire culture to keep, um, to keep, like, doing war with each other, which sucks out a lot of the natural resources. And the only reason why they've been able to keep the war up is because it's, like, spiritual to them. But all of the other factions are like, wow, that's not cool. Also, from Arkansas, marching north are is the Mega Walmart tribe. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, if you didn't know, Walmart was made in Arkansas. And I know that because any Arcanite that I meet will not shut the fuck up about it. It's supposed to take place in the Midwest, baby. I like to imagine that even though the coastal places were struck the worst after the war, um, they were able to rebuild themselves. Well, just this one little bit in the Midwest, that's where things went wrong. They didn't really get nuked, but just because, because of the fallout. Uh, and like the one or two nukes that struck, I don't know, fucking Des Moines, I Iowa. <laughs> yeah, Arkansas. But how am I supposed to say it then, huh? Huh? Goddamn degenerate. Huh? Am I supposed to say it? Arkansas? No. Arkansas. Oh, what's up, Trelenny? Oh, and there's a bunch of symbolism with colors and stuff. So Styx, he starts out... Um, like, only in black and white. Like, visually, he's only black and white. Like, not even gray. And he gets shot by this dude named Teddy, who is definitely not Benny. <laughs> uh, and then he meets Light, she's yellow, Felix is red, and Joy is blue. Joy is not human or demon, he's a shapeshifter. Uh, which leads to some more symbolism. Shapeshifters are extraordinarily rare, and they're also fucking hated, because uh, they're kind of expected to use their powers for good, but it's like, well, they haven't done jack shit around here. Also, they hurt people. But Joy just wants to help people, so he doesn't let it slip. It's like his version of Arcade's Enclave backstory. But I, I gotta make it more tragic than that. I'm working on it. I've been thinking about this for like three days. It's gotta stew a little bit more. Although I will say, it helps a lot actually seeing the characters. <sighs> All right, final character, Teddy. Oh, when I say that these characters are like, oh, Felix is red, Joy is blue. It's only when we first meet them, like until Ulysses gains their color in a symbolic sense, like gains their perspective on the world, which is what the colors are meant to represent. Um, then they appear 
with the colors that Ulysses is used to. So like, Ulysses can only see black and white and some grays until he meets white, then everything, including the environment, is rendered with that yellow. And then eventually red and orange with Felix. And brown. Because brown is just dark orange. It's over, G. O or G? What? Yeah, I gotta make space. Wow! Alright, let's move y'all. I need to use Ulysses as a. Like the base template. <gasps> oh my god! I cut off her arm! Light, oh my god, I'm sorry. Also, Ulysses doesn't normally look like that. Uh, I just did that to show off his top scars. Is that all you got? I haven't really put a lot of uh, thought into how Teddy can look. I just know that he's human. Maybe give him a round face. Because we have, like... <laughs> we have anime, we have brick, and we have point. So the next conclusion is, like, round. Yeah, maybe Teddy can be, like, a little bit shorter than Ulysses. <gasps> Teddy Ro- I- I love Teddy Roosevelt. He's such a cutie, arguably the best American president we've ever had. I know about the fucked up things he did, but, you know, what- what American president hasn't done fucked up things? Answer me that. I mean, that being the worst does not erase the bad things he did, but I think he was still an exceptional president. He cared about nature. I know, like, he was all over the fucking place. <laughs> Dude, Teddy was so based. I love Teddy. Can we get the hot presidents back? I don't want any more boomers. Also, Obama... Uh, he was a damn dirty Democrat who barely did fucking anything, and it was all walked back when Trump came into power. But man, he was a looker. We need more people like Obama. So, this is my favorite story about Teddy Roosevelt. So, Teddy went on a hunting expedition and he shot at a bear and, well, it got away. So, people from his hunting party got a bear, they trapped it, and tied it to a tree uh, and directed Teddy to the bear tied to the tree. But Teddy was like, wow, uh, what's the point of shooting it? Like, this is very dishonorable, both to me as a hunter and the life of this bear and he let the bear go free. That's so fucking beautiful. Like, admirable, even. So the thing about Teddy is that he's got, like, a whole actual suit. Instead of, like, just the blazer that Benny has. Also, teddy bears are pretty based. Very nice comfort tools. Yeah, I kind of want him to be, not on the skinnier side, but like, he's not a muscular man. And I, I know that Benny came from a tribe, so it would make sense for him to be a little bit more fit, but like the people in the big city, at least in this story, they have been living comfortably for many years. Or as comfortably as you can. So he's a little bit less... Uh, 
spoiled. Or he's a little bit more spoiled, rather. Yeah, again, I should stop drawing legs like parallel lines. Boot rider. I can cut you down with my knife. I did it to the last guy. Definitely, my next playthrough is gonna be a Legion playthrough. And god, I just wanna crucify the man. I just want to see that man suffer. Nothing good happens if you try to be nice to Benny. And what sucks is that I don't think he really deserves it. <laughs> like, yeah, he shot you. Which was shitty. And there was, you know, possibly no good that could have come from you helping him, but... Oh, he's gotta have a like a cowboy hat, you know. That's a sun hat, not a cowboy hat. He's not like an actual cowboy. He just dresses like one. Hints like the cow. I'm planning on like a cow pattern. You genuinely forgot about Benny. You were so drunk you forgave the man. Here, let's move your legs up. I'm doing that thing where I shrink the fucking torso again. Oop. Need more anatomy practice. I've been skipping on that lately. Wait, really? I don't know anything about Midwestern cowboys. Do you have an example? I want to be, like, you know, accurate for the Midwest. Because, um... It looks like an M. Oh, wait, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like... I just don't want to make it look like a fedora. Here. Midwestern cowboy. I better not get anything from Ram Ranch on my fucking phone. Oh! Oh! I, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's not like the... It's the rim. It, it's this thing. Yeah. I had no idea that there were different... Wow, I, you know, I worship Ram Ranch, and I don't even know about basic cowboy culture. I should just fucking- Oh. No, I'm not doing that. That's gay. It's gotta look like a bona fide cowboy hat. But it will do this. Like, I've seen Midwestern cowboys around here wear that. I mean, I could just use the, the excuse- Oh, darn. It's it's just so far into the future. <laughs> I mean, America right now isn't even 500 years old. They pull the hat off. People with the middle ridge. Squeak. Wow. How do you know so much about cow- <gasps> Are you a cowboy? <gasps> No, wait, no. I've said cowboy way too many fucking times. I think you guys know what time it is.
<laughs> I have said cowboy went too many fucking times. Oh, yeah, fuck. He's gotta have, like, the big old belt. Kind of, you know, kind of a gut, too. Oh, no! Oh, God, he looks like a King of the Hill character. I wish, you know, I wish I knew more hat lore. I love the idea of hats, but I, I, I don't really wear hats all that often. Should be the Ram logo. <laughs> no, I can't give you that much power. You've given so many good suggestions. I'm not going to take every single one from you. Also, I gotta change the one on- that's- that's too much. Ram Ranch Apocalypse. The apocalypse happened because- hey- oh no, you can tell that I'm Midwestern. I- in this story as well, I do want there to be Indian characters. Especially from the Osage, since there's like Arkansas, and Missouri, and Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> I really do want that. Ever since I made that joke in the in the Fallout stream the other day, uh, I, Neo Kansas has to be a thing. Yeah, Kansas. God, I love cowboys. Da -da -da. Ram Ranch, it rocks. Yeah, he just doesn't. Like, his proportion, he looks like a kid. Maybe it's this. Like, he looks like a. God, Tiny Head McGee over here. Maybe it's the round face. That has to be it. Yeah, that was totally it. And I want him to have, like, these weird, fucked-up, dead, glowing eyes. Yeah, I think it's this. Yes, Neo New York. Next to New New York. <laughs> No, my Ram Ranch ended. No. Ram Ranch, please come back. Please, please come. No. No, not like, no. Ram Ranch, please. Ram Ranch, no! God, I love Light so much. Her design is so fucking cool to me. Like, she's got the spikes on her toes to kick shit. She's got the Lady Liberty shit. She's got big poopy sleeves. She's got a fucking knife made out of a demon's tooth. God, I love Light. God. Okay, maybe it won't be a suit. I kind of like the, uh... No, I gotta make it a suit, though. I gotta make him look like civilized. Whoa! Okay, I look up cowboy suit. Uh, oh my! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Don't look up cowboy suit. Worst mistake of my life. Here, let's get rid of the jeans. I'll make it a proper suit. I'll make it a proper suit. Because i he's supposed to be, you know, he's from the big city. 
There we go, though. That's some proper suit pants. No, no, I'm gonna give him, like, the fringes and stuff. Here, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. But I do agree with the chats. Hmm. Where'd she get the Liberty Crown? Literally just found it in a ravaged gift shop. TT, I was thinking the same thing. Like Lady Liberty could be like a god because we have the we have the two we have the Union and the Confederacy fighting each other in their war culture. What are they idolizing? Old America. What's a really great symbol of old America? Lady Liberty. Maybe we could even go more meta and have the Confederacy still do slavery, which is why the Union is so apt to like take him out. Cut fringes. Here, we'll see we'll see how this shapes up. Let me redraw this man's arms, because I want to show off the the fringes. I fucking love fringes. I think they're so epic. Wait, oh, wait, someone dented all Lady Liberty? Who did? It was 9-11, wasn't it? Those fuckers. They'll pay for what they did to Lady Liberty. <laughs> no, but I- that's fucked up! I had no clue someone hurt all Lady Liberty. That makes me angry, man. You don't- in the 80s? What the f- How did I never hear about this? Maybe because it happened in the 80s. I also don't really know. I- I am an American and I don't know my own history. I know it's a French statue, but it's ours now. It's our symbol of fr Look, you say that like, not anything else in America was taken from another culture. Yeah, like, uh, hello? What's new about America? You know, god, I really wanted the suit, but this looks, uh... No, fuck, I have to go for the- Ah, oh, I have to go for the suit, man! Look, we can have another character be a cowboy. This is serious. <gasps> Popsicles? Let me look up. Oh, what flavor popsicle did you get? I had some soda. The frog pooped. Make sure to fasten your frogs, ladies and gentlemen. Popsicles are way better than heat sinks. Heat sinks don't taste very good. You don't know? What color is it? <laughs> oh wow, oh, little Dawin, that is so cute. What, uh, what flavor is that? Uh. I, I don't know. Oh wait, suits don't really have belts like that. Oh god, the jumpsuit! Oh god, oh now he's like 20 years younger. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Oh, oh god. Here, here's an instant trick to increase your character roster. Are you ready? 
Easy peasy. This is how procedural generation works. <laughs> Oh god, oh, I thought it, it, I just, it was my reflection in, the, in my water bottle, but I thought something was, like, fucking moving, and I'm like, <laughs> it was, oh, oh god, I, like, spammed the button. Oh, I want Joy to have, like, um, like a pocket. Maybe we can move this symbol to, like, here. Because I, I, there's a scene where I want Ulysses to put a flower in his little pocket. Because it's very gay. Flay voice? What are you talking about? It's just fruit and shit. That's all I really look for in a popsicle. I haven't had a popsicle, actually, in um, a, a lot of many years. Here, I will put the fringes on this- on the suit, though. That's, like, I can't just- It's a- it's a suit, but it's, like, cowboy. Oh, Flavo Ice! I have never heard of Flavo Ice before. Will be the loss- I think the worst part of the apocalypse would be the loss of all the music. Maybe Teddy could have, like, a weird thing about his hands. Like, his hands are, like, all fucked up and shit, which is how he was unable to really do anything, even after trying to kill the, um, after trying to kill Ulysses. The pink ones? My favorite popsicles? Oh, that's a line. Wait. I don't know what that was. Let's move you to- let's scoot you really nice and close. How's my day? My day has been really quite, uh, nice. I took- I, I went on a very long walkies. I took a nice sh long shower, ate some nice food, and then I napped for the stream. I've been ca I've been thinking about this story as well. These are the characters to the story. Make them touch butts? No! No, Teddy- Teddy shot Ulysses. That's not nice. I don't want to touch butts with a man who shot me. In the head. Twice? Yeah, Teddy is a sort of businessman. And Teddy, uh... He's- he's definitely against the whole war against the- the Civil War reenactors. Like, he just wants the war to stop so society can finally rebuild himself, but is he gonna help the common man? Of course not! He only wants to help out the rich. But the rich can't prosper if there's constant fucking war. <laughs> That's the issue with Teddy. Bullet wounds. That's even, that's gross. Not enough evil anteaters. Now they gotta be midwestern animals. I mean, bears, bears and cows are definitely midwestern. Tigers, not so much, but tigers are cool. Uh, let's, like, rough up Teddy's outfit a little bit. I was thinking about there being, like, a whole, like, herd of giraffes. Like, giraffes escaped from the zoos and they managed to proliferate across the wasteland. Because imagine, right? Let's say you pick up a new Fallout game. You pick up Fallout 5 from GameStop. <laughs> And it's your first ever Fallout game, and you're expecting, like, a wasteland, but you open up the game, and the first thing you see, uh, like, you see a bunch of desert, and you're traveling around for a little bit, everything's all gray, and you just see, you, you turn a corner, and you see a giraffe 
just eating a tree. How fucking epic is that? Is cock. What? Dalton! <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that Fallout 4, sorry, Fallout 5 will come out. Let's give Teddy, like, a cool mustache, too. Like, he's not a Midwestern cowboy without the stash. I mean, come on. Okay, and it's got, like, cow print all over it. You know, Stone, um, I, in my read- I've been doing a lot of reading on Fallout lore. Um, in my reading, it turns out that ghouls are, like, a limited breed. I mean, I knew that they couldn't breed, but it's, like, eventually the ghouls will run out. The first thing you see, to be honest, it was all cock from the start. <laughs> you see, kid? Truth is, you had a cock. <laughs> no! And he's got, like, cool... Uh, you know, diamond motif. Like, light comes from triangles... Teddy can be, like, diamonds. The Saint X can be hexagons for the icosahedron. Uh, these guys can be squares in more ways than one. No. Look, you've had great suggestions, but I'm not gonna do everything you say. See, I look them in the eye before I kill them. Dig. Oh, right, cow. Right, the cow designs. It's like a checkered, but, uh, you know, slightly cooler. Actually, let me look up, instead of drawing random spots, let me look up, like, a cow. Hopefully, when I look up cow suit. <laughs> No, okay, no, that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Cow print suit. Whoa! 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 Whoa, look at this handsome feller. <laughs> that is kind of. Darkly ironic, though, that the whole game was rigged against Benny from the start. Poor man. I mean, is he really poor, though? <laughs> I, maybe it's just my altruistic side. A bow tie? Oh, wait, he needs, like, a, a bolo tie instead of, like, a bow tie. Hold on. Oh, and another group I would like is a bunch of Renaissance reenactors. And because it's been so long since the Great War, uh, they just talk like, oh, verily. <laughs> they like speaking like weird, like it's it's like actually a different language. It's just very similar to English because of the similar roots and the fact that it's been 500 years. The Brotherhood, but they take it more seriously. <laughs> no, they don't sound Greek. They just sound like Middle English slash Italian. Uh, obviously. <laughs> oh, right. I'm still, I'm still like looking at arcade. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> You know, okay, I don't know if it's just me, but does anyone does anyone else know of Pokemon Gen 5? 
like a Clayton from Gen 5, the cowboy gym leader, because that's the only vibe I get from Teddy. <gasps> oh, what would be sick is that instead of cow print, this is actually giraffe print. Wait. Like, it could just be black and white. It could be, like, albino giraffes. Oh! Arcade! Oh, arcade! Yeah, he's a real yeehaw, motherfucker. Oh! Oh, Teddy! Oh, gross. Instead of Ted, Who would you rather have bang you as a, as a woman, right? Would you rather have Teddy or Benny? Because I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Teddy. I'd rather kiss that cute little mustache of his than... Uh, Oh, oh, Dalton! Yeah, I know! And this can be striped, because stripes are cool. It kind of clashes with the, uh... The, the spots, but it, it makes him look slim. Toddy. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> look, the casinos. They just work. Checkers! Hello. Let's see. I think that's good. I think I can finally start coloring them now. I know, a rat? A stinky fucking rat? Maybe Teddy could have- and like, and the rest of the big city, they could have like a zoo? Where they just have a bunch of, like, weird, fucked up, inbred animals, like albino giraffes, um, white tigers, like, everything could be white instead of what they're normally supposed to look like. I think that could be kind of neat. It's like, look at our wealth, look at our impressive collection of animals, meanwhile they're, like, sick and dying and they've been inbred for 300 years. <laughs> Does that make me a horrible person? I'm not doing the anteater idea. I'm sorry. Oh, this needs this needs spots too. His whole fucking outfit. He really likes the spots. And Teddy's like 50 instead of like however old Benny is supposed to be. I also I just realized Teddy and Benny sound really similar. <laughs> I just realized that. Wait a minute. Also, Joy, you need, like, the, the creases on your pants. Like, his pants might be ripped to hell, but at least he folds them when he's not wearing them. All the characters are like leaning over. <laughs> Wait, was it what was it the point? Na, 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 na. The spots? <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, Ulysses has to be tan. Oh baby. Oh you Ulysses. There was never a point to all of this. Everything's pointless. Thank you! Joy, he needs to be pale as a fucking. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that wasn't the point. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I just chose. So each of the names of these people, like Joy, Felix, Light from Lightitia. In fact, actually. I need to spell it the way it's meant to, like, light. Maybe light could be part of the Rena Renaissance people from Lightitia. Which means, so Lightitia, happy. Felix, happy. Joy, happy. Teddy, uh, I was looking up for a fourth name to mean happiness. Uh, and apparently Teddy means happy. Uh, also, Teddy is a really cute name. No, not Light, like Light Yagami. So that's the whole reason why they're named like that. 
brain freeze. You don't have a brain. You have a bunch of circuitry. Oh, right. Yeah. His, uh, his mid midsection is showing. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me pour out a nice good old for you. Oh, you- oh, I like to think that you said it in a tone like, I have a brain. Wow! <laughs> I love- dude, I love Mario's N64 noises. It's very- it's very comedic to me, because I, I like speedrunning culture, and naturally, Mario 64 is a very speedrun game. So, it, it's something I find great joy in. Let's see, Teddy? Titty can be like a little bit darker. Maybe a little bit redder too, you know? He's he's got like some bona fide Whoa, not that red. He's got like some bona fide you know, old fashioned American in him. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Yes, I also wish for the same thing. Wow, Ulysses looks jaundiced now. Let's see, Lytidia, she can be, like, a little bit more fair-skinned. Have a little lighter. Uh, and Joy, he needs to be, like, white. <laughs> My man never goes outside! <laughs> oh... Oh, he also needs a belt buckle. And Felix, uh, let's make him, like, orange. Also, let's make Ulysses a little bit lighter. <gasps> Matt! Joy is joyful because he never experiences the outdoors! <laughs> no! Yeah, these colors are gonna need some workshopping, for sure. Matt, we're- I'm working, uh, on drawing the characters of a story I've been thinking about for a little while now. Yeah, this is supposed to be for- those aren't horns. How are you, Matt? I- I've had a- I saw your DM on Dick Sword, and I just never got back to you. I'm sorry, but I've been well. I haven't been doing too horribly. Today was very nice and calm. And this stream has been very chill too. I was like, oh God, I'm gonna go gremlin mode. But no, I haven't gone gremlin mode yet. You missed me explicating the story and symbolism of all of these characters. It's very artistic and meaningful, I promise. Yeah, there we go. Because I want Ulysses to be kind of borderline anemic looking as well. I smell a new art category! Yeah, this may, this may turn into a long-term project. If I can keep it up. I just want to do like a quick like, everything's in here right now. I haven't, like, written anything down. I think I spent, like, the first hour of the stream just talking about, like, the lore and, like, the, the character arc moments. You know, this is the perfect music to be coloring cowboys to. Oh yeah, by the way, Matt, these characters are based very heavily off of uh, New Vegas, and one of them is so blatant. <laughs> I will not change it, though. Joy St. Ick has to stay. I will piss myself if he, if he needs to change. Yes, like, almost. <gasps> He's Doug Dimitar! 
These characters are based. Based? Except for Felix. He's, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, like, for, if you just want to hear about these characters, go rewatch, like, the first hour to 90 minutes of this VOD. Like, that's all you need to hear. The rest is just me, like, talking about random shit. But, you know, I, I've been- I've been thinking about this project because I've been really inspired. Here, yeah, let's color your outfit. Your, your outfit is, like, almost completely white as well. I might, like, color a few, like, off- off-white splotches on it because it's like- Well, these people don't have access to clean water on the rig. Like, I imagine that they don't smell very pretty. <laughs> Uh, mm, yeah, me. You haven't bathed in two months. <laughs> Sexy. Look how flowy the the overcoat is, though. Uh, maybe actually not yet. Mmm, the grime. <laughs> Oh, light also needs some white elements. Yeah, these are bandages. Or, you know, fashion bandages, we'll call them. But I do kind of like the, uh, the crowd-sourced lore. I think that's really neat. The, now these are bona fide horns, baby. I'm concentrating. And I'll also do like their colored versions, like the the the, the symbolic color. Let's see, you'll have uh, kind of like grayer hair, so it's obvious that you know. Gotta love that albino giraffe print, baby. Do, 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 do. And these are not poop stains, okay? They're spots. If anything, Teddy is like the cleanest guy here. Maybe except for Felix, because Felix has access to like a water source. I'm just thinking of what sort of like, because being that Teddy is like Benny's equivalent of sorts, it's only fitting that he has like a, a a quirky little speech thing. Like Benny talks like this, see? You dig? So maybe his thing could be that he just looks like a really he's he has a really fucked up Midwestern accent. Like, oh honey, it's this bad, really bad Midwestern accent. Honey. Oh, hello? There we go. Wow, that is not tacky at all. Oh my god, Teddy. Teddy, get a new suit. 
Honey. Yeah, Betty ain't a fake dig baby reacting. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Yeah, Teddy's got like some weird fucked up eyes going on. Maybe he could be blind. Let's see, this can just be gray. Or he's like very nearly blind. Which is why he like, throughout his entire life, he didn't do any single action, but now he feels like he must. Okay, like, Tidia, she's gotta be a blonde. Maybe, like, a dirty blonde, though. Oh, yeah, a good blind person and a neutral blind person. <laughs> to bal- look. <laughs> we must balance all of the humors of the body. We need someone who can't taste. We need someone who can't feel. We need someone who, um... Let's see. Smell. Let's see. Feel. Smell. See. Taste. What's the fifth sense? Here. We need a deaf person. I guess technically, like, temperature, that's another sense. Time? Is that a sense? Direction? That's a sense. I'm- yeah, let's make most of her garments, like, a golden color. And- actually, let's change the color of her hair. Um, yeah, maybe make it, like, kind of a, uh, a very, very light brunette, maybe very dirty blonde. What would you call this hair color? I don't, I wouldn't call that. That's like, that's like Mark Hamill blonde. I know that Senny was a red hair, but I want to keep up with, like, the gold yellow theming. And I don't want her to look like a McDonald's, Ronald McDonald mascot over here. As funny as that would be. Uh, so I just, I just don't want to go too into the... Yeah. something a little bit more like maybe their thing was that they uh like like Tidia's culture or Light's culture came from uh a bunch of old prospectors and I know yes those look like Indian you know Indian American uh like, this does iconography. And I know that's not accurate. But from a lore perspective, that's totally what they would fucking do. Like, how do we engage with the culture of the people who have helped protect us? Let's adopt some of their iconography, and that would change over time. So they could almost worship the the color gold or yellow. to do more detail on that knife later. I 
And her eyes are also golden. Let's draw out, like, their cultural... Like, symbols as well. Like, these guys could be called the Golden Eagles. Man, you can't see that at all. Fucking gaggles! What are you talking about? Why are there so many fucking weirdos in chat? Are you calling me gay, huh? Gaggles? You what? Oh my god, bunny. Matt, you need to go to bed. Why you been up all day? Golden Eagles hench. Oh, 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 geek! Oh, oh, I see. Oh. No, Krillini was here far before your time, TT. It's okay. I enjoy the weirdness. Because I'm weird too. <laughs> Geagles could also be short for gay ge eagles. <laughs> that was so funny. You know, let's get a little bit of uh, gold on this guy as well. I mean, if he can't fucking see, right? And gold is the color of wealth. I don't think he'd mind that too bad. Let's get more of the red down here, too. Let's get the miss Mitch Matt. Mitch. Mit. 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 Mitch. Mismatched. There we go. Mismatch Ed shoes. I think there should be more character designs where it's not symmetrical. Even if it's just like a color difference, I think that's a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's have this be red too. Let's see, Teddy. Their symbol is just the diamond, because, you know, diamond, wealth. Mm. Okay, see ya. See a lid to my fucking water bottle that doesn't have water in it and didn't just fucking spill water everywhere. See ya. <laughs> God fucking damn it. It didn't, like, actually spill water. It just fucking splashed shit everywhere. <laughs> Why? Gravity, honestly, kind of transphobic. I'm gonna say it. And I'm not taking it back, either. Gravity, watch out. I'm gonna cancel you on Twitter right fucking now. <gasps> yeah, Matt, I think you should definitely get some rest. You know, me and Matt were having a conversation the other day. Uh, he was just concerned because I've been pulling, like, some weird fucking hours. Uh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, it's okay. And uh, he's basically doing the same thing, so it, I definitely know, you know, like, we understand what, what's going on. But... I have- I am gonna start taking it easier on myself. That's for sure! Because, uh, I just took a little time for myself the last couple of days. I'm feeling on top of the world. Yeah, Matt knows where I'm coming from because he's as a- probably even more industrious than I am. Oh wait, I gotta- you should also- oh, it is getting pretty late. 
Have a good night, TT, and thanks for the really, really good suggestions. I really appreciate that. Let's see. The Confederates were the gray ones, right? No. And the Union was the blue? Yeah, I, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday morning. Both of you. I mean that. Yeah, okay. I'm looking at a picture. The Confederates. <laughs> Confederates were broke, so no luck for them. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, blue eyes for these. For this dude. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, actually, I rescind my statement. Fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, one of the streamers I love watching, when th the moment things get even slightly wholesome, he's like, actually, no, fuck you. And I'm like, no! No! I know it looks blue, given the context of the colors, but when I add the little bits of blue, you'll understand why. Unlike the uh, Confederates in our world, these Confederates are actually rich as hell. They just stick to the uh, the uniforms of the past. Maybe that could be the threat that, like, so like instead of the battle for Hoover Dam, these guys could be fighting. Uh, like the the Civil War reenactors are already fighting. But uh, everyone's like, hey, that's a fucking problem and it needs to stop. Or uh, if it were a game, if you sided with the Civil War reenactors, it could be like, oh no, this is sacred. This is a cultural event. It can't stop. Or, or what are we without our culture? Meanwhile, everyone's like starving and dying. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, he almost looks like a red panda. I'm trying to go for like a tiger sort of coloration here. Yeah, I'm gonna look up tiger stripes in a second. And I'm gonna do a whole like character recap write up in Discord after this. So people who miss the stream can go, oh, who are these characters? This is interesting. Oh, Mr. Stwemo, this is so epic. Bitch, your fur clashes so hard with that uniform. Oh my god. Bitch. He does need the, the white, like, side stripes, though. And maybe, uh, the white, uh, like, button thingies. No! Oh my god, are you at least gonna brush your cyber teeth after this, Mr. Dalton? Because I swear to god, if you fucking don't, if you don't, something really bad is gonna happen. Oh, Dalton, I went to the dentist the other day, and I love the dentist. Never! Now you've done it! <laughs> Or for those who were late to the stream. Oh. Is that what you mean? You have- I know you have teeth, Dalton. I manufactured you. With my bare hands. With my bare hands. Teeth? Yeah, you do. I've seen them myself. I didn't make your brain, though. That's all on you. I'm sorry. Wow, he looks kind of prim and proper. 
Why is he hot? No. Sir. It's always the evil ones that are hot. God damn it. Yeah, and this could be like his little gunpowder thingy. Uh, that needs to be a gold- oh, maybe it could be like a purple heart. Or, you know, like the equivalent of the purple heart. Let's see... Okay, I think the... Last thing is like the tiger stripes on this dude. Tiger face stripes. Tiger! Because he's between a tiger, a bull, and a bear. First of all, let's get this. Yeah, there we go. Again, don't ask how the animal people gain sentience. It, it's just magic. It just works. Let's see, can I go back? Yeah. Oh, and this needs, like, the confederate, like, flag on it. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, the recap. You know, I'm kind of glad that I put the recap into, like, one big chunk unwittingly. Unwittingly? Oh, right. I don't even know. I know the confederate flag is, like, a cross. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I was... I had the right idea. Oh, wait, actually, get a nice red. No, don't you? Look, you're gonna run out of popsicles. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna be even sadder, because you won't have any more for later. And then you're gonna cry and piss your pants and, and shit and vomit. It's gonna be horrible, Mr. Dalton. Pre I please. Oh, where's my music? Oh, okay, every other button will work except for... Oh, okay. You fucker. You cum drinker. It's almost comical in like a weird... Sorry, it's almost comical in a fucked up sense. That the first gay character that we meet is a confederate soldier. And the one hang up is that he's a transphobe. Mind you, he's not transphobic because it's like he's he hates all trans people. He's just especially transphobic towards trans men. <laughs> Gotta have everything in shades of gray. Let's see. Okay, yeah, your symbol. Obviously, it's the Confederate flag. It is oddly specific. It, 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 I can't even fucking speak. I was gonna shade these characters, but I might just throw in the towel after I'm done. Drawing the like coloring them. Yeah, I'll have to do like better colors later. 
Because I actually kind of like the idea. Also, these guys are just still slightly too... Because I, I want him to be, like, anemic-looking-ish. But not, like, as bright as Joy. I just have to beg in order for the music to play. I have to beg and fucking grovel. Oh my. Oh my god. Yeah, I got the boxers under there. The slurk fucking shoes. Those are slick as hell, holy. Music! I know, yeah, maybe if I yell loud enough, uh, something will fucking happen. You know, that's it, that, that, you know, the universe has encouraged that behavior from me. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's see, Ulysses is gonna be. Slurk! I did say slurk. Ulysses is in his, like, uh, 30s, but he's had a rough fucking life, so I'm gonna make his hair a bit on the gray side. I guess testosterone also doesn't really help with the aging look. Because, uh, if there's one thing that T does, it, it's not make you look younger. <laughs> or if there's one thing that T doesn't do, it's make you look younger. L look what you did, Dalton. This is all of your fault. You know, I kind of like this outfit for <laughs> Like, Ulysses would never actually dress like this on its own. But I just think it's funny. Like, of course he would look like that for a short spell. Again, he's he looks very serious, but he means well. And he's very funny, but as a result, he doesn't really take a lot of things seriously. Even if the situation is dire. That's his bad character trait. Like, someone could be actually dying, including him, and he would be like, Oh! <laughs> Clown music playing. But I guess I'd also act like that if I had actual brain damage. But can I get, like, something darker? Something redder? Get a little bit of gray in there, too. The suffering! The pain! Oh, oh god, I'm- Oh, I'm good now. Tee <laughs> Was that an accurate summation of those events? I don't remember the last time I, I suffered a brain freeze. I mean, I'm grateful. Oh, fuck. Ulysses needs, like, hella chest hair. Hold on. And arm hair. God. I just wanted to look, like, Austin, like worse than Austin Powers. God, what a hottie. <laughs> Ulysses, no. Ulysses. 
<laughs> no, I'm simping! No! Dude, I can't be simping. I, someone needs to, like, bonk me. Very hard. Yeah, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Dude, Ulysses is just Austin Powers, but if, uh... Uh, but if he were more willing to just beat people up... Like, otherwise, he's very horny and v very much a clown. Okay, gotta go for the Platinum Blanche. The aging Platinum Blonde look. Oh, behave! Yes, yes, no! <laughs> I love Austin Powers so much. Sly Cooper turned me into a furry. Fallout New Vegas turned me gay. Austin Powers turned me trans. The tr the, the holy trinity. <laughs> no! No! Yeah, this needs to be more of an off-white. Like, like he hasn't washed this in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's wet, yes. This is much better. I just don't want him to look like a lesbian. <laughs> He's a gay man, not a gay woman, goddammit. Also, it needs darker shoes. The Saint Ix symbol is an icosahedron. I love icosahedrons so much. They're my favorite platonic solid. Or classical platonic solid, I should say. Gotta pull out the real beep boop language for this business. I don't know of a symbol for Teddy yet. That'll be work done. Because it's the symbol of the big si the big city. Good lord, I'm getting so worked up over Austin Powers. Yeah, let's like even make it grungier. Oh, oh, a dollar sign could be good. The symbol for Teddy is his mustache. No, actually, no, Stone, that's a really good idea. We could take like, um, we gotta get like a Benjamin. Like, this far in the future, people don't even remember who Benjamin Franklin was. But they do know his face was on a piece of currency that was worth a lot of money. So maybe... Maybe their symbol could be, like, Benjamin Franklin's face, but simplified. A Betty! <gasps> a Betty! A Benny, if you will. Maybe they could call them that. Like, call them the Bennies. I had no clue they called that Benny. Hold on. That's a good idea. Maybe he could have, like, a huge blood stain. You know? Like, he is a doctor. There's no way that he doesn't have, like blood stains all over his like fucking pristine white coat let's see like surgeon clothes blood surgery like what do they fucking look like whatever i'll just put like some
Yeah, it, it makes him look a little bit more intimidating. Like, at first, it's just like, oh, okay, look at this fucking twink. But now it's like, oh, uh-oh. Perhaps he has a bloody past? Hmm. Uh, I was gonna look up something. Oh, right, Benjamin. I just need the dollar bill. And it's just a very simplified... It's just something they can, like, stamp on their cattle. Or, sorry, their giraffes. God, I'm- this is the first time I'm actually drawing a Benjamin. Look at this fucking tw- oh! <laughs> I know, yeah, if, if this were a game, uh, and I- I saw him, I would be like, Oh wow, look at this twerk! And I walk up to him and it's like, Oh! Hey bud, you're covered in blood! <laughs> I've always, you know, I've always loved uh, Benjamin's face on the hundred dollar bill. I also still gotta come up with the names of the cities and like where they're located. I gotta draw a map. But I think that's this is good for now. Oh, let's put some blood on his- uh, on Joy's sleeves as well. And again, he can't just like fucking wash it out or clean it. Oh, if that's the case, it has to be a little bit darker, a little bit crustier looking. No, this isn't fresh blood, it's not like pastel pink. Okay, so we have uh, Joy St. Ick, also known as Joystick. He's definitely not an XB of Arcade, he is definitely 100% an original character. He's a shapeshifter with a very dark past. Also, he's a shapeshifter. People fucking hate them. Then we have Felix, our gay uh, transphobe confederate demon soldier. Very, very epic combo. <laughs> Very, uh... <laughs> Sorry, that's just, like, weirdly comedic to me. <laughs> it's like, yes, yes, no! No! <laughs> the one bad trait he has. I guess another bad trait would be, like, supporting, like, the wars. That's also pretty bad. We have Styx slash Ulysses. Uh, calling him Styx isn't necessarily dead naming. It's just a name he used to go by. Uh, and he might still go by it from time to time. But he uses uh, Ulysses more. Then we have Teddy, uh, who is a stand-in. Oh, right. Felix is a stand-in for Major Knight. Teddy is a stand-in for Benny. He's from the big city. That has no name yet. <laughs> I just kind of like Big C. <laughs> uh, and then we have Lytidia, or just Light. And she's from a tribe of... Uh, she's under the protection of the local Osa Osage peoples. Uh, yeah, just Big City. <laughs> no, it needs to have like an actual name. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, with the uh, with the post-apocalyptic sort of deal, I mean, it could honestly just be called Big City. Yeah, this is yeah. We got Holstein Bunny. <laughs> hmm, what an old name. One of the loaded terms. Yeah, Big actually is symbolic. Um, 
um, uh, yeah, lights from a tribe of people who uh, worship gold because they had a prospector sort of culture that they originated from, and they are under the protection of uh, local Indian American tribes, which explains the aesthetic. And they also worship Lady Liberty, uh, which explains the pointy bits. And they are also known for having golden eyes, which is very uncommon. What's- who is- what's everyone's favorite character? I really like Lytidia. I think she looks very, uh, very kawaii. I want to hug Lytidia. Like, the whole point of light is that, you know, she's like a comfort character. And she's always supportive of, of Ulysses. Like, I just want to hug her. Joy, he doesn't hit the same way as Arcade yet. I gotta make him, uh, I gotta make him hotter. I gotta, like, turn up the dial a little bit. Felix, uh, I gotta make him a little bit more sinister looking. Maybe turn up the red element a little bit. Teddy, he could use a slightly different color. Maybe not brown. Maybe I should just go for like a nice cool dark gray. And uh, Ulysses, I'll draw him with proper armor later. I know. <laughs> Poor XB of Night. <laughs> it's a dick. I'm sorry, Night. You know, Knight didn't deserve this. Knight did not die for our sins, to bitch. <laughs> oh, poor Knight. Poor Knight. If only he knew. Um, yeah, later I'm also gonna draw... Or... Do different colorations where, how, like, that's how they would appear during their first appearance. Instead of just like, uh, you know. Oh, uh, Felix is supposed to represent the color red in Ulysses' journey, but he's wearing mostly blue. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll figure it out. I hope you guys, uh, found enjoyment in exploring this, uh, story so far with me. I was really excited to show you guys. Because that this is the thing I've been thinking about for the last few days or so. Um, I'm gonna do a write-up after I eat a little something. Like, after I upload this, I'll do a little write-up on Discord. And, um, we'll see, we'll see where this project goes. Hopefully, um, it, it goes further than Ruined on Jupiter did. But I'm feeling, like, motivated, and I'm not feeling super burnt out like I was when I tried doing Ruined on Jupiter. So let's cross our fingers. I hope everyone has had a wonderful night. Pause the music. Uh, let's go look for someone on Twitch to raid. <gasps> okay, so there's someone who I like, uh, who is streaming on Twitch, and he's playing Dwarf Fortress. So guess where we're, guess where we are fucking going? Oh, he's got a little checklist too. A wonderful night, sadly, is it? Like he, he's nice at first. It's not like he's. It's just. That's supposed to be the twist. It's like, oh, he's so nice. What could possibly happen? He's a transphobe. Nah, nah, nah. Because <laughs> it, it, like, you know, I don't want this to be a happy story. I want it to be fucking awful. I want it to, I want people to feel bad when they read it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming in, Matt. I hope you have a restful slumber and that you're not too tired tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Stone, Clinny, Goblin, Dalton, for the raid. Um, TT for the awesome fucking suggestions. Same thing with Stone and Krillinny. You guys are so fucking smart. Um, I hope I didn't miss anyone who was particularly active. Yeah, I, 
have a good night, everyone. Tomorrow, we'll be back with uh, more tack and the power of Juju. We'll see if we finish that game tomorrow. Peace. No, rape them. Rape them. <laughs>